Oh, howdy. Forbes here with another Red Dead RP stream. This is George Hughes on the Diablo RP server. Now, I was, pretty, I was planning on just like maybe catching up on some of the... I've been trying to catch up on DLC I've missed over the years. Well, over like a decade, which is kind of awkward, of the Fallout games. Maybe play some Star Wars Hunters and that. But then I figured with the... Since there's this martial law in effect that's only for like seven days and it's almost like a it's like a law exclude well not a law exclusive event but it's a law exclusive objective um to do so i figured whenever i've got a free night and i've got the energy to do it, i should probably take part and try to be actively participating in this blackwater martial law thing so but hello feezy thank you for the three stream streak thank you mate creepy big creep thing see you soon sounds good Viking Dave, how you going? I'm going all right. Had a had another productive day at work, and I figured I'll jump on and try and I will try and 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 assist with the martial law. Um, that is that's the primary objective, but we'll see we'll see what happens. Um, how are you going? Uh, I need that. I need that. I need that. Um, I need to sell all these pelts. Did some hunting. So got some beans. Got some beans. I need to go get changed. In that case, if I'm not... Who the hell is this? I think that's Jack. I think that's Jack. Oh, great to... Great to go... Great to be on duty with Jeb, man. Always a pleasure. Yo, Madzy, how you doing? Oh, I won't go on duty yet. Uh, oh, no, I need to get changed. I need to go to the clothing store that's out here. Well, I may as well get changed then. May as well go on duty then, because it's right there. You're a hell of a lawman. Viking Dave, hell of a lawman. I... I don't know, Madzy. I... I just haven't played Helldivers 2 in a hot minute. Um... Not really any reason why, I just haven't. Okay, what dust do you take? Because I sold you some gold. Ah, uh, we... I just haven't played it, eh? Doctors have ordered leave for a few days. Oh! Because you got... I'm guessing you got shot in St. Denis last night? What, what, is, what, what is the new update, Madzy? I mean, I should probably play some more Helldivers soon. I just... I don't know. I just haven't played it. I just haven't been playing a bunch of stuff. Um... Hey, uh, just uh, just to let you know, there's a... Uh... Uh, I need... What was I doing? I need to go sell these pelts. I'm on duty. I've got food, I've got water, I need to sell a bunch of crap. I need to cook these damn fish. Jeb got shot in the face, skull crack. Jesus Christ! That's still martial law, right? Pardon? Is there still martial law in progress? Yeah, for another uh, five or six days. Ah, uh, yeah, no worries. I'm still telling people not to have their arms in the back. I appreciate it, Leroy. That's all good, right? How's your day been? Oh, look, it's only just started. But, um, oh, yeah. I'm hoping I can find some of the other lawmen around and, you know, try and just keep keep things okay around here. Yeah, it's, it's hardness, right? No, oh, George. George right? Hughes. George. George Hughes. Sorry, apologies. Are oh, you alright? I meet so many people here and all the names few of us. a bit of a blur. That's right. I think I see Cyrus over there. He's a new addition to the force. Um, yeah, any news on that uh, fellow that was uh, just spawn in? The one that's been robbing people? A lawman? Yeah, yeah, it was a deputy. Is this that Richard Gray fella? Yeah, I believe so, I believe so. I've been hearing some weird things about him through the grapevine, but don't worry, the sheriff is uh, aware, and uh, he's dealing with it. Apparently he shot someone in Valentine, uh, not, I think it was about yesterday, I think. Don't worry, I've, I've heard a whole range of things. Sheriff Bowman is, uh, he's all over it. He will yeah, be dealt easy, with. Easy. Yeah, nice. 
I can't believe, I can't believe that happened. I I actually sent him away. I I when he came in, I I said no. I I think you should maybe go back. But uh, yeah. Then yeah. He, someone else inducted him, so I don't know. I thought I thought I told everybody. Oh, well, there's no real way to know how they're gonna be after you swear them in. No, so we're we're looking at maybe having some more steps. You know, they they finish their training with the Rangers down in New Austin, and then they come here. But they can't just go out on patrol by themselves. They gotta have an interview with the sheriff and this and that. We're we're gonna implement stuff like that. Yeah, it's um, is it true that they can't go on duty until they're accompanied by another sheriff, another woman? Oh, look, back in the day, uh, like, yeah, recruits could go out on patrol without someone above them, but it's it's a bit. It's a bit of a gray area at the moment. Ah, uh, fair. Currently, maybe that should uh, that should come back just for maybe just while martial law is in progress, even. Yeah, I I definitely think so. Just uh, yeah. Well, not all the recruits can be like Cyrus here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Captain. Oh, you're uh, welcome. You get, what, you get what, a good one every now and then. What rank did they give you when you got here, Cyrus? Uh, deputy. Deputy. Okay. Yeah. You yeah, see, Cyrus here is fine. Can't talk much about that other fellow though. Oh, is that the one that's gone? Is he gone? I, I haven't heard yet. I just heard he was going to get talked to. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not the same one. Oh. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Maybe Sheriff Bowman will be around tonight. Oh, there's, there's more than one that's in trouble, is there? <laughs> I hope not. I hope we're talking about the same one. I hope so too, actually. Oh, God. All right. I better get down. I got to sell a bunch of pelts, and I got to check the bank in that, and then... uh. Yeah, do Let's you know see. what's happened with the businesses lately? Um... Did you know the apprentices can access the ledger? All right, Jim. Uh, I I don't hear anything about businesses. Sorry. Ah, fair, fair. I'm gonna have to put a ticket in with the, the government or something. Yeah, go straight to the straight to the tickety top. Yeah, we'll do. No worries, Leroy. You have a good one. You too, mate. It's jungle commando theme. Well, that sounds all right. Leroy Jane. <laughs> hey, Brox, how you going, man? Leroy, when's Tommy? Has Tommy Tim Tam applied for the West Department? Where's Tommy Tim Tam? God damn it! <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Can you sell? No, there's just the butcher stuff. I need to go to to sell pelts and that. I need to go to. All right, I'll duck up to I'll duck up to Manzanita Post soon. And I'll quickly do that. Oh, Gazozo, you flatter me. Where, where, where? Gazozo, hi, hey, hi, 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 hi. How you going? Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? What's good? I think I would throw that Easter egg every time I see him. I filled in an app, an app out. He's just back in the mountains again. God damn it! Far away from telegram stations. Damn it, Tim Tam! Gazozo, <laughs> I, I always want to see puppies. Are you talking in game or real life, or both? Better check my telegrams. I forgot to check my telegrams all of yesterday. Um, because... There may be... I may have gotten one from the sheriff? <gasps> no! Oh, if Tommy Tim Tam was the next mountain man, that would be... No! That'd be messed up, man. But exciting. But messed up. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I see you, you loitering bastards. I see ya. I see everything. An IRL photo? Gimme, gimme. Gimme IRL photo of puppy. I have my phone ready. No, no, it's because... When visit my friends at the vet clinic, I worked no. at, and there was a one week old St. Bernard. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm opening, I'm opening Messenger right now. Oh, look how little it is. Oh, it's eyes are shut. Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable, because that a little Saint Bernard. Yeah, Miss how Amy, cute. Can you call um, our ticket? So I can, Which was so the last? Is this the one about? This is uh, Miss Amy just bought the, the horse. Oh yeah, churros. Yep, yep, churros. 
And then it was... Uh, oh, yeah, and then the Wolves. Martial Law. I hear Martial Law has been letting... Yeah, it's the one she was telling me about. I hope you're keeping safe. I'm going to show up. Please be careful. Maybe so I go on benches. Because these are my worries. You could reply back at your earliest convenience to show me you are well. Or perhaps you can visit me and Valentine. Your truly concerned friend, Cynthia Wheeler. Well, that was sent... Give him an apple or something. That was sent... Yeah, then, I, then, then she found me in Blackwater. I can't read your words from over there. By then, yeah, so oh, that's fine. Nothing from the sheriff, so I imagine that's still coming oh, because we're no, doing he's good. more he's still stuff on, the lights, on but he's just, he's still brand new. He's Sunday. The Let's go sell these damn pelts. We can check the field on the way. They're not loitering, they're at work. Bullshit, they're working. <laughs> Oh, Zozo, that's a door like puppies. Oh. No, no, this is uh, one of Eli's cousins. Privet George. Out it. Puppies. All the baby animals. All the little baby animals. <laughs> Want to go on the train again? Meow. <laughs> Trouble on the planes. There's the herd. Oh, what the? F you damn coyote! Which way you going, mate? Jesus Christ! The herd looked like they're all right. There was someone up here. There's someone up here. Oops. Who's this? Oh, is this another bot? I keep getting every now every blue moon I get a I get a um a random message or friend request on Discord, and it's like, You're a bot! Fuck off! Be gone! There was someone lurking around. Better check him on the way back. <laughs> Was that a snake? A snakey snake. <laughs> oh God! Oh no! I hear a cougar. Why don't I? Where'd my ammo go? Where's all my ammo gone? Where'd all my ammo go? I swear I had lots of rifle ammo yesterday. And my shotgun ammo's gone. Where did the ammo... Yo, Game Train! Dude, have you ever had ammo... disappear? <laughs> I now have no shotgun ammo or rifle ammo. It was there yesterday. Um... I could not have used it all up. I 
I'm confused. The hell? Dog. Had it, partner. I swear I had lots of ammo for both yesterday. Phantom Man, cheap viewers? Whoa. Damn, man, that... That sounds... Too good to pass up. Oh, the Peltrade is up there. Wow, cheap... Cheap viewers. Oh my god. Wow, I... Oh, that's That sounds so good. That sounds so good. Shell pelts. Oh, yeah, rolling in dough. All right, let's go back. the gun store again? There. Well, I'll put it in the Discord, just ask if anyone else has had issues with, like, certain ammo types like that, just, just reverting back to zero out of nowhere. Is it because it was ammo bought from, because at the gun stores you've got the, like, the, the NPC vendor menu. And then you've got like the player vendor menu. And I I think I bought the ammo from the player menu. Is it is that bugged maybe? Just trying to think what the hell could it be? Because I'm I don't think I've ever had that problem before. Never ever! I've always had all the bullets to shoot all the baddies. Howdy, Looper. Howdy, partner. <laughs> well, I figured I will attempt to help out with more with the, the martial law while it's in effect because it's a, a lore objective. And I was just gonna, I was just gonna play like, um, Star Wars Hunters and maybe catch up on some Fallout tonight. But then I was like, ah, like if I, if I don't, if I don't help out as much as I can with the martial law, 
because it's it's um it's only around for a week. Like it, it's like missing a um an event in um hell divers are saying law for law. But my um Howdy Ames. Is this the gunsmith? Yeah. Take his hat. He needs that to protect his head from the sun, though. Without it, he'll die, game <laughs> Alright. I'll buy ammo again. Lucky it's cheap. So it's not the end of the world. But it's still odd. It's still whack. See? Alright, see? Ammo? Ammo. See, it's there. It's definitely there. It's definitely there. Oh. Hello, mister. Out of the fucking way. Howdy, Ames. George, how are we? Oh, good. Yourself? I can't complain. Uh, no, things are going quite well, it would seem. There's someone walking a donkey in town. That's a new one. Oh. Well. Hey. They're just behind you. Yeah. Well, I guess better check if they got ID. Rare. Yeah. Right. Looks like an unscrupulous type, don't he? Howdy, partner. Hey, we. Welcome to Blackwater. How you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Oh, look, not too bad. Just, uh, we've currently got martial law in effect here in Blackwater. I was just wondering if you had any, uh, ID you could produce for me? ID? Uh, yeah, identification that like tells, you know, displays your name, no. age, and such. You got five. You got five dollars on you. I just leave. Oh, you, you just got. It's only five dollars for ID. It's illegal to climb it. Where, where's, where do you buy it? Well, here in Blackwater, you get it from the uh, the courthouse down yonder. Hang on. Well, I got two dollars, so I just leave. Oh, here, look. I'll I'll give you the three dollars. It's fine. Thank you. Seventy-three. I spend all my money on the on the horse here. On the horse. Seventy-three. Where'd you uh, where'd you buy? Uh, there you go, partner. Uh, Saint Denise, I think. Thank you very much. Did they uh, say that it was a horse? I say it's a horse. Oh, okay, I was just making sure that they weren't trying to sell you something that... And yes, before you ask, my horse's name is Donkey. Oh. Maybe right. Fair enough. That's a good name for it, to be honest. Look, call your donkey whatever you want. As long as you get that ID, you'll be all, you'll be fine. So you said the courthouse? Yeah, courthouse. Straight straight ahead from me. Down a big building. Straight ahead. The, the front desk in the lobby. I'll be back. No worries. Oh, good. There we go. Easy. Simple as that. Yeah, it's pretty not hard. I'm getting compliant. There goes the... Uh, sorry, there goes Donkey the Hawk. What the fuck? Really? What, what was it? What happened? Oh, Get fuck! Knife, George. Get a knife. Get a knife to it. Get a knife to it, George. Get a knife to it. Oh, oh fuck! To me. Sorry! Sorry, sir! There's another one! Get out of here! Don't <laughs> Sorry, sir. Oh, you're right. Do you want to sell it? Actually, yeah, you can. There you go. You killed it. It's all yours. Ah! Yeah. You. What are you crying air for? You fucking stabbed you me. You threw it on my head. Yeah, you sliced me with your knife ah! like a. F it was an accident. Yeah. Sure. I'm sorry. You can sell it. You can sell that. Can I butcher get... this around the corner? Well, if you want, or you can just sell it to the meat trader and get your money. Where the hell's the meat that. trader? I'm pretty sure it was down yonder, ain't right? it? Uh -oh. Wait. Is hey, Jack. Here? I thought there was Daddy. a game. Hey. I think it's round by the chef's pile. I'll be back. Maybe, unless I get fucking stabbed. <laughs> it's the martial law effect. Stabs the martial. 
the hell, Ash? It's Hughes Law now. <laughs> hey, Hammer, how you going, bro? It's Hughes Law now. Stab, 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 stab. Oh, there's barrels. Dodge the barrels. It's Deer Law. Yeah, I'm alright. Productive day at work. And I figured I'd help out with more martial law stuff while it's around, and because it won't be around forever. You don't have Rona. You've got influenza. Oh god. Down here, there's a butcher. I didn't realize that was an animal. I thought that was a person on oh. the back there for a second. I was like, um... Could have been a person with my reckless <laughs> knife swinging. I'm a silly billy. Where the hell do I... Where do I deposit this meat? I don't know what I'm doing. It's broken. Right. <laughs> Fuck it. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care that much. Someone else can have it. Hey, Cyrus. We just ran. If you can hear me, we just ran on the main street with a uh, deputy marshal Ames. Shit, Ash, I hope you get better soon. Rest up. Shit. You still in the villa? I flew home. I am the flu. How'd you go, George? Fine. You see that other other one coming down, or other what? Oh, that other damn animal to come down the main street. No, nope. what was it? No, the, the one. You know how you went out and chased it? You said there was another one. Oh yeah, I think it's, I think it's out of here. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. Like, you know, they keep running into town. I don't know what's going on. They keep coming down from the hills. Oh, they're weird animals. Yeah. Maybe they're attracted by the lights, because it always seems around even in the nighttime. Okay. What was that? Where was that from? I think it might have been a gunshot, but I'm not quite sure. Let's go. So it's the sheriff's office area. Hey, Battle Tango. I flew. I locked up inside the sheriff's office today. Hey? I put us inside the sheriff's office, so I decided to just lock him in there. Oh, okay. obviously it wasn't over this side, then. Yeah, so somebody was hiding in our sheriff's office when I trained in, so. All right. Just before the storm, so I locked him in there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's what you get, I guess. Because the doors don't lock. Oh, Is that after the, the storm. Yeah. yeah, after the storm, they don't lock. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Good, fuck him. Yeah, if you see that donkey filler again, George, just make sure he actually did get the RD, otherwise you just pay out three bucks for nothing. Yeah, 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 I will. Did it five bucks? Oh, he had two... He had two dollars, allegedly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's this nice man. He, just... he looked like he'd gone that through like hard times. Hey, Commodore! Oh, well, uh, I was right. Hello! How are y'all? Good, how are yeah, you? Very good. How are you? Good. Have, have y'all been participating in my challenge? What challenge? I, I, I have not seen said challenge, uh, to be honest. There, I, I have a bin. Now it's granted, it's over in St. Denis. 
that if we get 1,000 cans of beans in it, it'll unlock a scavenger hunt. How many cans of beans? 1,000. See, George. Uh, well, I'm, shit, I'm, guys. I got I got one on me. What about you? I don't have any on me, but no, we can zero. gather resources. What kind? You know, we got two. You're just all about the beans, ain't you, Commodore? Oh no, no, it's just it was the oh, uh, a thousand uh, beans. You sound like you're all about them beans. I mean, I mean, they are high protein. Well, you know, beans are expensive. I heard that they're uh, cheaper down in Mexico. Oh, oh really? The free holes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, when would uh, when's this uh, little challenge of yours end? It, it goes for the uh, until the nineteenth. Okay, so like another one week. Okay. One week there. That's a, he, that's a hundred that cans a day. Hundred cans a day. He's, he's not one of mine. With, no, he's running around with weapons on his back. Oh, oh, was he? he goes. Yeah, he had. He, well, he had a bow. He had something else as well. He had a long arm, but he's going out of town. I think they just keep coming across from Saint Denis, so we just. Are, are, but yeah. Are are bows uh, okay in the, town? Are what are bows? Are, are bows? Yeah, technically, yeah, technically they're not a long arm, so that's. Oh, uh, okay. By, by the letter of the law, they, they, oh, they would be okay, right. but it's just the long arm part. But, Howdy, uh, partner, how do we go with that ID? Yeah. Hey, How's the yeah. Ben's treating you anyway? All oh, sorted. They, they've they've been all right. I've I've been restocking them best I can. Yeah, gentlemen, if you don't know the company, oh look at that, uh, Mr. He, Billy he Hill. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Appreciate it. The bins. Yeah, the, the bins. Sorry, we mate. Deals, you, you, deals you, with you, beans you, as well, but you, uh, you, mostly the bins. But well, technically, bins he is beans. dealing with the Pardon? beans in the bins. So, yeah, so... Uh, yeah. Sorry, so, mate. Yeah, so, you yeah. say all that again. I put all the stuff oh, in uh, them. So thanks for your cooperation, Billy Hill. find treasure. Billy Hill. Uh, well, I, can't, I can't hear you over uh, old matey. Thank you for your cooperation. Exactly, and sometimes like, I'll sneak a little something in there for people who go the extra mile. I said thank you. Yeah, no, you're, you're welcome. Right. Probably good to have yeah, an idea yeah, on me. Yeah, it'd be like, good what would from here on out. So yeah, you, to, have, you have yourself a good day, all right? Diving or, or maybe, yeah, you too, uh, sir. Or maybe. Uh, how would they rate their experience, and where would they put a bin? You get, you get, you get, uh... A little reward for doing a survey. You never know, it might be picked, gentlemen. Be yep. wary. Uh, yeah, no, it's well, good seeing you around, Commodore. We've probably just held you up from checking the bins. No, it's all right. I'm just heading over to St. Denis to, to do my rounds. Well, I finished up here. Oh, fantastic. Well, you stay safe, and uh, yeah, we'll see you when you come back around next. When are you due back? Oh, well, I, I, maybe maybe tomorrow, next day, I don't know. I just, whenever it fancies, I go all the towns. <laughs> oh, well, I look forward to seeing you back here. Yeah, I, 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 went down, I went down to Armadillo, and I got in a fight with the with the, the bakery fella down there. He was trying to peddle biscuits as, as something called a scone, and it just it just didn't sit right with me. It's a biscuit. The hell's a scone? Exactly. Wait a minute. He, one of them... Freaking colonial English characters. Um, I, I think so. They, but it's a they biscuit. They call things weird things all the time. Yeah, no, well, you know, might talk to Ranger Wolf and uh, see if he can talk some sense into that gentleman. Right. Right. So he, he banned me from the bakery, so I stood outside the... Oh, my God. Uh, I stood outside the window and yelled at him. <laughs> well, we can't that's do fair. anything about that. You're can't outside his business, so that's fair enough. Right. I was outside. Yeah. I, I listened. I'm a law-abiding citizen, I promise. Well, yeah, he did say, you know, didn't want you in the business. Business doesn't go all the way outside. Exactly. Technically, yeah, right's the best kind of right. Hello, uh, hello. It's good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Yeah. All right, all right, I'll leave you fellas to it. Keep up the good work. Keep those badges polished. I don't want to find them in the bins. <laughs> what if you do find them in the bins? You going to keep them? I'll keep it. Yeah, good. Fair, fair enough. It's uh, mine I, now. Fair. And if they want it back, they, uh, I think two hundred dollars is fair enough, Commodore. Don't you? It paid to me. Yes. Uh, so you said yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. water gold. Oh, well, I did find some law bills. What 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 do I do with them? Law bills? What? Like, yeah, law um, bills. What in the bin? Issued oh, fines. Right. Huh? Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. Anything. 
I found one yesterday by that was issued to a Wayne McCready. He was dumped in the bin. I, th I think I passed it to you. Yeah, let me have a look. I couldn't figure out how to open the envelope. Huh? Curious. Well, if he doesn't pay him, then some people will be uh, getting paid to go after him. So that's on. That's on him. Yeah. Yeah, I did play. I found two of them, but one of them I slipped in someone's pocket just to scare them, and they couldn't figure out why they had been billed by the law. And it was quite amusing. That's always good. <laughs> That's actually quite good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, gentlemen, stay right, safe out there. You stay safe. You too, bye. Adios, amigos. Ciao, ciao. Oh yeah, they get, he can send the bill to Walter Gold too, because apparently Walter's our right. boss. What's happening, Walter? Said he can send the bill to Walter Gold if he finds badges. Apparently he's our boss. Oh yeah, yeah. Where's my money? <laughs> if I'm someone's, if I'm someone's worker and I'm not getting paid, it's uh, something I got to deal with. Fair enough. Yeah. How are you doing, Marshall? Yeah, good. Uh, nice, how's good. your patrol? Yeah, we're, we're talking about your patrols in Valentine. Apparently it's uh, good up there as well, which is I'd, nice. And... Yeah, I just went up there. Yeah. It was empty. Oh, yeah, did you get? To... Oh, fantastic. Well, what about strawberries? Uh, mush on strawberry. I'm sure I haven't been up there in uh, probably a day. Mm. Any of you guys um, know Louise? Mm, Louise too. Uh, she didn't actually give me a last name. Hey, Louisa. To... Yeah, sorry. Yep, Louisa. Yep. Um, she was uh, hanging around here before, saying if any of you others are on uh, in county, sorry, and uh, she said she's going to go hunting, but she wanted to have a chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. She wouldn't tell me, obviously, but. Oh, well, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for her. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, in case she's a friend and you knew what she wanted and where she was. Very curious. Well, all right. Well, I think we should uh, keep work moving around. But Mr. Gold ain't paying us to stand around, so uh, we're gonna check the. Uh, oh, we better go look after him. Yeah, we're gonna go check the. Uh, uh, one boards and see if there's anything there, but uh, yeah, it is quiet. So you know, uh, if you feel so inclined, maybe one leave one or two of you here, and the others go for a bit of a check around, you know, and just rotate it or something like that. But again, up to you. I ain't gonna tell you how to. You know, I'm not gonna tell you how to suck eggs. So uh, figure it out amongst yourselves and stuff. I'll be around as always. So I might wander over to Saint Denis at one point, say hello as well. So. My fine Marshal uh, Gabriel sitting on his his bench near the bank. He hasn't left the bench, so. Well, I think uh, I'm going to get a plaque made up by one of these blacksmiths to say that it's uh, his bench. You know, he, he uses it enough, so it ought, it should be his, to be honest. Well, when howdy, he... officers. Howdy, 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 howdy man. How, how y'all doing? How's Marshal Very life good. treating you? Yeah. Same old, same old. Oh, it's crazy. Good, it's keeping it the town. It certainly looks same, crazy, I guess. It just um... fucking paperwork up to my ears. Paperwork for all the craziness that's happening. Well, he Woo! doesn't do paperwork. Just won't stop. Yeah. Well, maybe the paperwork mountain would go down if you if you did some paperwork. <laughs> oh, that's a I, that's a wing. I got, a, I got. I'm I'm kidding. I got no. No, that's fair. Please keep. Keep shooting from the hip, man. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves it. What the uh, fuck did I do? <laughs> so, you didn't do your paperwork. Apparently, you're fucking snowing under. You keep telling us. So, God damn it. Yeah, you, you walked into that one, didn't you? Yeah. Can, can I borrow Mr. Hughes here for a moment if you're not so busy? Yeah, of course, ma'am. You, yeah, that's you, all good. You, of course you can. Have fun. All right, uh, gentlemen. Let's, why uh, do Marshall uh, doors look like Sheriff doors? Howdy, me. miss. How are you doing? Oh, look, I'm going all right. I'm joking. I don't have any paperwork. Yeah, I know. I was just it's, messing with you. It's in front quiet. Of the... But hey, get paid. Get paid yeah. for it. Hey, do you know what they're building here? Where? Here, where right they're doing here. the construction. Yeah, what are they making? Uh, I, I have not heard anything about it, but if I had to assume, I would say it would be a either a boathouse or a seaside cafe. I, I would like a seaside cafe. It might, it might potentially have, like, the finest fish and chips in all the land. But, I don't know, I haven't heard anything. Oh, shit. What was it? Where was that? I didn't even hear that. It's in the alleyways, I think. Oh, I'll be right back. Oh. 
Move along, please. Hijo de puta. Por favor, no. Locals running around. What do we got here? Rat poop. Hard to tell some people from a distance. <clears throat> Is that better, woman? Everything all right? Is anyone else uh, here? Think, no. Uh, George. Oh. Anyone there? Yeah, can you hear us? Yeah, no, still can't. God howdy. damn it, can't hear anyone. Howdy, 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 howdy. Yeah, George, we think, uh... Um, we, alright, we well, I'll, I guess I'll be back. Hopefully yeah, I'll get up in, in the boat queue again. Is anyone yeah. else hearing a horse in their ear? Oh, yeah, I'll be right back again. No. So I ran into the alley. No. Sorry about that, but the alleyway uh, is secure. Confused. Yeah, me too. What was happening? That, what was the shooting? I don't know. Hey, um, George. Howdy. Yeah, howdy. So I've uh, sent through to a few people. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I sent to you, actually. Um, I've written up a guideline. Not a standard operating procedure, but a guideline for negotiations. Oh, yeah, they did come across my desk. Uh, yeah, I had, a, I had a glance. Yeah, yeah, it looked good from what, what I think? can tell. Alrighty, because I did get help from uh, Marshall Gabe. Uh -huh. Um he like I wrote it up and then he proofread it, did a few what uh, red, you know those red lines across the words they think I should change, yeah. um, and I changed them. Nah, I'd I'd like to see something like that, like a real like a dumbed down version of how to handle like process and fines yeah. and all the nitty gritty stuff because you can't get a big I can do all that as well if you'd like. Well, that'd be good because even I find like a whole bunch of us we find ourselves forgetting here and there because it's yeah. So we spend so much time trying to remember. Which book we're grabbing, which pen to use, rather than gone off your back rather jail. than being able to focus on, you know, talking to folks. So it'd be good to arrest him. It's good to back. Be good to streamline it. Yeah, exactly. So that's just for negotiation slash robberies. So it brings up multiple um, sections towards like what the chasers do, what the the messenger does. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it wasn't just for the negotiators for everyone. Yeah. Then, but then hopefully people can you know go, have, take a look at it every now and again, having the back of their head rather than. You know, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. always having to ask in that because yeah, just everything slows everything down. So it's good to have like almost like a cheat sheet, or like an idiot's guide to this and that. So it's good. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, so that's I, that guideline I believe should be possibly handed out to from the Texas Rangers to the new guys. Uh -huh. Once they come to our department, I'd like to set up a ten question. Very easy. I'm not going to discriminate against people's uh, ability to learn. Mm -hmm. um, like, not exam, but like questionnaire. And if we see that you're struggling, we should say, hey, just for a few days, reflect on the guidelines. Um, come back to me and we can do it again. Have you, have have you put, put it on uh, 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 the sheriff's desk? Everybody, um, this is, uh, if I haven't seen him in county to be able to tell him, but I will be uh, sending it through Telegram. No, that, definitely uh, definitely when you can, because uh, yeah, we're, yes, we're exploring again, options of, you know, Making sure there's barriers in place so when they come from the rangers to hear that we've got points in thinking, place to make sure I don't they're know okay. If you'd agree or not. Okay, Harkness did agree with me last night, but you weren't there. So I thought I'd bring it up with you as well, sir. Um, what would you think of when people come from the Texas Rangers, they become an assistant deputy for one week? 
Oh That's yeah, the learning um, period. Bowman is co considering something very similar to that right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Richard Gray's been shit canned. Excellent. Excellent. I heard about the minor things. Is there anything else I need to know about it? Uh, he's been robbing people. Are you fucking kidding me? Been searching people and robbing them. He ran away when people had guns on him last night. Oh dear. Uh, Alexa can tell you about that one. Shit. Well, I'll be up just a minute, fellas. Sorry, I just had to uh, catch up with someone real quick. Won't be long. Apparently, he robbed a bunch of people last night. And they're looking for him. Colleagues, I guess we're already wearing the same clothes. I, I do like I, green. Hi, Mr. Hughes. Sorry about that Hello. again. Just everything, everything's happening. That's fine. I'll try not to take up too much of your time. I just wanted to whisk you away for a chat for a minute. So. No, you're sorry. right. Sorry, Doctor. If you could excuse us, I'll just uh, we'll just head out. Yeah, no, no, you're right. You, you know, gunshots go off. I gotta. Run. Gotta do stuff. I gotta run down, you know, so they got someone, someone to shoot. <laughs> yeah, why you talk like that? That's how I'm, you get shot. I'm joking. I'm Your joking. Bullet sponge. I ain't got nothing on Harkness. He's the, he's the, the wait, which is the cheese with all the holes in it? Uh, the Swiss. 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 Cheese. He's the Swiss cheese sheriff. I'm the, the, the Gouda cheese sheriff. You don't know much about cheese, do you? No, not French. No, fair enough. Um, I wanted to uh, to talk about um, what happened yesterday. Just real brief. I'm sorry, I ran off like that. Oh, look, uh, I I get it. I, I was it, talking about some pretty grim sh grim stuff. Pretty pretty depressing. I I don't blame anyone for. No, it it ain't like that though. Uh, it was it was wrong of me, and I I think it was a combination of the the black vodka, and um, I was just struggling to. We, we we grew up very differently, and uh, I thought I knew how to be a good friend and, and comfort you, but I was uh, struggling in the moment, and then I felt like I had to throw up, and I'm not real sure if that was just because of the vodka or because of anxiety. Oh, look, that yeah, happens or, to the best of us, you know, being there, done that. You throw up because of black vodka regularly? Oh, not black vodka, but, you know, too much cheese. Um... <laughs> Too much cheese? You said you didn't know, you know much about cheese. You know, when I first first became a, a lawman, the train and that, you know, anxiety, you know, I, I get it. Yeah, do, careful, too yeah. much cheese, bad for you. Yeah, well, that like, makes sense. Like everything, moderation is key. No, I like to eat a lot of cheese, but that's beside. I just want to get to the point because you seem busy. Um, ah, it's quiet at the moment, don't worry. It, well, I also had the time to sleep on what everyone else is also talking about. Oh, and, like, don't mind. Hungry. They're just a bunch of... No, well, if they do it, I'm I'm just going to be shutting it down real quick. Um, I've been obviously threatened to beat people up for it, so... Oh, they know you're just... It's a, you know, they know they know what you're getting at. You're not, gonna, you're not mean I, yeah. to physically assault them. You're just telling no, them, you know, want, shut your cane. I want you, to, I want you to, to to, be like, yeah, she doesn't like that. She makes her uncomfortable. She might actually take a swing at you. Maybe <laughs> shut up. I want you to make it, make me seem scarier than I am so they stop talking about it, right? Oh, easy. That's easy. You're, I, you're a lawman. You can't really be going around threatening to beat people up for it, but I, I, no. you know, I'm a civilian, so you can make me seem at, me out to be scary. I can't, I've seen I'll you kill it. many ducks. Well, yeah, that's true. And squirrels and, and bunny rabbits. It's, it's, uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's a scary time. I would not wish that yeah. upon anyone. I, I, and I just want to be clear, no matter what they're saying, is, is you are my friend. And Absolutely. at this stage in my life, that's all I need. Oh, well, like and I, I think like, that's the same for you. No, like I said, you know, I've, you know, I've been through some pretty, some pretty dark times. So I'm, I'm definitely not racing around to, you know, you know, put myself in a position where, you know, especially with the job I've got. Where, uh, you know, I'm getting shot all the time. The best thing I know is someone else getting shot on my behalf. So I'm not racing around in anything like that either. I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm just happy to have someone to spend time with when I'm not on duty that actually has more than half a brain. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm glad we cleared that up. Uh, once again, I'm sorry and I'm embarrassed. And I woke up real hungover. And I woke up in a forest. I think I just passed out there. No, it's... It, it, Black vodka, you, you never know, well, you can't, you can kind of predict, but you never know when black vodka is going to strike, you know, but, but it is, it is pretty much as soon as you drink it, but, but yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm never touching that shit again. Yeah, um, well, blame Alexi for that one, bloody Russians. 
Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'm glad we had this chat. I'm I'm sorry I didn't do it earlier. Uh, ah, you're fine. Don't you don't you worry about it, Miss Wheeler. Don't you worry about a thing. And I'd still like to hang out sometimes. And if, no matter what people say, I'll just probably threaten them a bit before we go and hang out. No, that is completely fine. No, yeah, let me know when uh, you got a, uh, you know, yeah, you need just a, some company to go hunt a legendary duck or something. Oh, I hope there's a legendary duck. I haven't seen, I haven't heard about that. I'm gonna have to ask Jeffrey. Jeffrey knows all the locations, so I'll figure that out. Yeah, no, that's completely fine. No, don't don't you worry. It's uh. All right. Well, I will let you get back to it. But by the way, uh. Louisa and Woodman seem to be still real cozy, so I oh. think we can... Yeah, and so if he gives you shit, you give him shit right back about it. I'll be sure of that. Very good. That is nice Because he was hear. giving me shit about it when I walked into town this morning, and then ah. I threatened him, and he said, you can't threaten an officer. I said, the deputy marshal had me threaten officers. It was fine. So I'm threatening you all a lot. Oh, Speaking hey, of which, Wo he's, fuck Woodman's he's just fucking watching this, isn't he? This guy? I, I swear to God, I'm going to kick his ass, too. I... Woman. I, 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 oh, oh, oh Ames. Deputy Marshal. I never really helped, like lay my hands on anyone before, but I'm about to. Just don't say anything about his egghead. Oh, thank you for telling me that. I'm going to call oh, up an egghead next shit. time he says something. He hides it under his hat. I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave you be. Um, I'm going to be around, but I'm hoping to have an interview today for the medical, medical training. Oh, is that but... finally happening? Well, I don't know. They said to wait for a telegram. Could be today, could be tomorrow, but I was hoping for today. So I keep checking my telegrams kind of obsessively right now. Oh, I don't blame you. Yeah, you want to get through that initial process as quick as you can so you can get down to business. and oh, That'd yep. be excellent. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. But uh, I'll let you get back to your friends, so co-workers. Oh yeah, we um, we we're, we're so busy right now, walking up and down this yeah, street. Yeah, well, even even Valentine's pretty quiet right now. It's kind of strange. Yeah, Sledge said he Sledge said he just came from there on patrol. Says it's a uh, dead ass. So maybe we're well, looking at quiet one. Well, did he shooting in strawberry earlier? So maybe oh, everyone's strawberry did. really? Mm -hmm. Shooting in strawberry. strawberry. What is wrong with people? Why that? Many, why strawberry? Many things, many things. But um, I'll heck? I'll see you soon. No worries. You stay safe now. Really, there was no grace period, Callan? Why wasn't there a grace period? Are they? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Jack. That's uh, Captain Hughes, I think. Oh, sorry, I'm. It looks like Lily, cheesy, but, uh, cheesy, chubby. Howdy. Oh. Also, producer of the goods, thank you for the follow. Howdy, Bob. I know what Mr. George Hughes looks like. <laughs> Howdy. Did you? Um, have you been courting Miss Cynthia? Did she hog tie you? I've like been hunting with Miss Cynthia. Was there a hog tie? No, there was no hog oh. tie involved. Okay. I tried. I tried to let her know that you were into this, but um, I guess not. I, I don't recall saying that I was exactly into it. I was just making conversation. Y'all need to cut it out. You're making it very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. I apologize. But uh, yes, on that note, I will be. Uh, I need to. Do horse things. Oh, I good. Think. All right. That's what I did. All right. So. Well, hopefully, Woodburn's around soon. I hope so. I think he might be having troubles with the train, which is a damn shame. But he's got a big headache too. He did fall off a building. Because he was just here before. Why? I, I, I really thought, shouldn't he be back in back back here by now? Yeah, might be a bit of a wait. God damn it! I just need to go to the office for a couple of minutes. But if you That's see that, if you see that guy, um, I'm gonna say Mr. Shouty. Yeah, I'll arrest him. But if That's you fine. see him as well, yeah. Who, Mr. Who? Mr. Shouty. Who the There's hell's that? Uh, the foreign guy. Warned. Yeah. The foreign I guy. I forgot his name. Where's he from? Uh, does anyone actually know where he's from? No. But apparently everyone's a racist because, because he's an immigrant. What? Yeah, it's a bit odd. All right, I'll be back. All good. Zero. What the hell? All right. Well, I might do a a lap of the outskirts just to make sure there's no surprises, well, and I'll head back into the main street. Okay, we'll wait around for you then. I'll just yeah, I'll go around the outside. 
Chuck Yuri of a bridge. But that's but that's right, Battle Tanker. So like as playing as George Hughes, like with all the other there's there's a lot of over the last few months there's been a lot of characters where they're you know, they're married or they're getting married or a bunch of stuff like that for extra drama and whatnot. Um playing as George Hughes, I am open to that. Um if it's coming from another player and it makes sense. But that is it's not something that I'm like aiming for because like I just I don't I don't know I don't know if that sort of angle in RP is my kind of thing um I I don't know how I'd be able to do that um I have enough trouble with that sort of stuff in real life like I like pretending to do that in a in a video game I don't know if that's my thing um, it'd be great for, for like an arc and like the stakes and stuff, but it's definitely not something I want to push, especially on another player. Um. Like I, I don't, I, as a... As a guy playing a video game, I don't think I feel comfortable um, making that, like, an objective. So... The most fun I've had in RP with, yeah, with Red Dead RP is when... Um, is when, over a long period of time, criminals have a history and it results in, you know, um, staking places out, chases, shootouts. Like, all the stuff that happened with, like, the Mountain Man, Squiz Taylor and that. That's, that's the most fun I've had. Yeah, that's right, Hammer. I'm happy to go with wherever the stories go, but I'm definitely... Um, it's definitely not, like, I'm not like, this is what I want to do with Hughes, and I'm going to do everything I can to make it happen. It's, it's whatever, just going with the flow, really. The Texan Commodore and George ship when? <laughs> Shipping Lou and the cheeky Mexican. Sorry you're stuck in the queue, Callan. I, I can't believe you didn't get a... Um... I can't believe you didn't get a, um... Grace period. There's Ames, what is he watching me? Ames, 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 Ames. Ames has no hair.
always forget these houses are up here. You can't go inside them, can you? Or like own them or anything. There's even one as far as up there. It looks like the it looks like a roller coaster over there. <laughs> wow, there's wow, there's movie world on the Gold Coast. Wow, oh, let's go to Dream World. Wow, let's go on the Lethal Weapon. Oh, wait, no, it's not the Lethal Weapon anymore. It's the um, Arkham Asylum ride or whatever. They just painted it green and added like joker and dc comics shit and like, yeah, it's now it's the fucking now it's a different ride whose horse is this who left their horse up here There's Ames again. Ames on patrol. You see anything, Ames? Oh. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, I don't want to say the Q word again. I've said it too many times already, and I ain't gonna say it again. But uh, yeah, I think uh, things have settled down. Yeah, no, this who would have thought just you know telling everyone cut the shit out, his martial law would work so well. Mm -hmm. Again, it's uh, it helps when there's people. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't you know, you got enough. Uh, you're starting to get a bit more lawmen in the west and stuff. And, which is good, you know. The east probably doesn't have as much of a problem just because they've, uh, you know, they've got a few more people. They had a full roster from the get-go. Uh, you all just had yourself, Woodman, Bowman, and uh, Jack. Yeah, literally life. a handful of us. But Sledge and uh, Cyrus, Cyrus, it is Cyrus, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, well, they good. You got yourself some good hands with those those two, so which is good. So, yeah, they fill me with confidence while that Richard Gray fella did not. Uh, yeah, well, Jack, uh, Jack said he's been fired. I don't, uh, I don't know if he has. I'm assuming he has. It sounds like he has, but you can, you can always check. Actually, yeah, you can check, because seeing see in your ledger. Yeah, we might, might check that when we go by. See if he's been scratched off. Well, yeah, last I heard from yesterday, Bowman was going to at least talk to him and suspend him. But yeah, I, I'm not surprised if he went further than that. Yeah, I sent, I sent him away. It was Harkness that, I think, inducted him. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. Yeah, right. So, I oh, didn't have a good feeling about George. That's fair enough. I, he did. He did not park. Park. He just. I, I had a, picked up a bad vibe, sir. Jeez, it took a little bit to get that out, but uh, we got there. Yeah. You going all right? I think you might need a drink. Been uh, out in the sun all day. Oh, it's just it's so hot out here. I mean, I'd just be glad you ain't down in Tumbleweed or Armadillo. Yeah. I... Or even down McFarlane Ranchway, it's still warm down there. I should be thankful for that. Could be worse. Could always be worse. You want to oh, come? Uh, I like to go up and check the bison herd every now and again. You you want to come with? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let me call Buttercup. Buttercup. <laughs> oh, my sleep. horse! I think is stuck in town. Oh. Hey, we had this random person sign up for the law department. And just, they just, their RP was just really questionable. And they just kept finding me in country and being like, yo, I want to join the Lord Department. It's like, dude, 
You gotta play on Discord. You gotta go to the Texas Rangers. And then, like, the Texas Rangers trained for, like, I don't know, an hour. Sent him up. And then I sent him away. But then Hartness then let him in. And then, like, he was then running around. He's, like, over in St. Denis doing, like, investigations and shit. And he's, like, hog tying people, shooting people, robbing people. Like, All right. Of course. Have a look at the fields, I guess. Planes. Planes? Yeah, they're planes. I, I, yeah, I, I was just like, what the fuck is this guy's deal? I could not comprehend it. Sorry, what was that? I said, it's probably time to look at the planes. Yeah. I said fields initially, but uh, not fields. Ah, uh, no, nah, I know what you mean. Expecting trouble, George. Well, I, I don't know. My memory's a bit woozy, but I... I just got have this bad image in my mind of people gunned down bison. Yeah. I just and I've heard you've heard about it, like the the natives have threatened to scalp anyone they catch hurting the bison. So it's uh, between you and me, uh, if the natives get you know if we get to them before the natives do, they're lucky. Yeah, I, I'm almost conflicted. You know, wanting to hurt a bison, I think you know you get what you get, but I think it's you know on the same. Flip side of the coin is probably we should get a hold of them first, give them a chance to learn the error of their ways. Hmm. Yeah. Some people just might 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 not know that they're sacred to the natives, which is you know. It... Well, if they're smart enough, they they'll realize that uh, none of the mo local merchants are going to take any. Uh, you know, of the skins or the meat or anything from them. So, uh, you, sh are you sure? I think they accept just about anything. Really certain they don't, if it's a bison or certain other things. Because I was able to buy a bison fur coat not too long ago. They just got them for sale. Where the hell did you get that? Yeah, the clothing store in town. Get out of town. I bought really? I thought, I, d I feel bad buying this, but I thought I could, uh, you know take this bad thing and use it for some good you know come up here disguised as a bison and wait for hunters huh. where's this herd let's swing right I... well i wonder what the technicality is they've wandered off it's it's illegal maybe they or maybe we don't have a law to say it's illegal to buy them like the skins and stuff sell the skin. Hmm. okay maybe that's the i have to think about it what's that over here I don't know where the herd is. Ah, <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'll double back and meet you at the gate. Oh. What do you say, meet me at the gate? Meet him at the gate, I think. <coughs> Thank you, Looper. Oh, Battle Tank is sorry. I glanced over. How great was the epilogue in Red Dead Redemption 2? And you like build the, you build the um, you build the house or you build a barn, whatever the, and you got that song. Do do do. do. 
so good. Like, I was, I was like, oh, well, that's the end of the game. But then, no, the epilogue had so much to do. It was great. And then how it leads into Red Dead 1. I'm like, damn, man. I'm still fanging for when I get the time to go back and play through. I want to play through Red Dead 2 again, and then I want to play through Red Dead 1 again. I only played through Red Dead 1. I've only played through both of those games once. It was, um... So good. I remember when Red Dead 1 came out, like, it was the shit, man. Like, my friends and I, we was like, this is... This is so good. We played the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, the, the cougars like ripping him apart and he got the do 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 do. It's so fucking funny, dude. It's so good. I can't. I got the little bagel. <laughs> They should have put on the um, martial law poster. If we catch you hunting bison, it's an automatic hanging. <laughs> Did Aim? I can't remember what Aim said. He, did he say he was going to meet me at the gate? I'll quickly see if he's around. He got cut off. Was any horse there? horse maybe he had to log off real quick oh no there he is he's an alien he's just come down out of a ufo what what the hell i fell down it's all right it happens to the best of us was an uneven. Oh, I feel that. You gotta get the, your boots checked. Mm. Do, 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 Well, I ran up to on the hillside. Can't see the herd. I think they found somewhere peaceful to sleep through the night, which is good. Away from right, prying good. eyes. Why did you... Did I... I, th I swear right. I. S why'd you log out? Town, see what's going on with earlier before you crash, yeah, Callan. Uh, hey, I said maybe we'll head back to town and see what's going on, and then make. Uh, and, uh, oh, you sent like, a patrol up these... just to check on the other towns. Yeah, I have to, yeah, go check on Blackwater. You know, bit of back and forth at the moment, just while we got martial law. Yeah, I was saying the same thing. Just, you know, we still need to check on the other towns. If, yeah, uh, just pop in. See yeah. what's going on, especially Just with that quick... Valentine with Mr. Gold. What the hell's going on there? Yeah, apparently he's running his mouth saying that uh, he he has us in his back pocket or something like that. Yeah, that's a damn shame because uh, you know, we've been trying to you know listen to a lot of things trying to help him. And then mm. to learn that is a little disappointing. Uh, jackass behavior, if you ask me, George. Wolf definitely ain't gonna take too kindly to uh, him saying that. Miss Wheeler, what are you doing walking around here at night? 
been in the Great Plains for ages since I was banned from Blackwater. Uh, let's just rediscover my old hunting grounds. Wait, banned? That wasn't me that banned you, did I? Yeah, it was you. You banned I me didn't, from my safety. You I did. didn't. I didn't ban. I you just banned me from my safety. I just suggested. Well, I did. I well, I followed your suggestion to a T until you installed martial law, and then I thought, well, it's safe enough. I go back. No, yeah, that's we talked about it. That's right. Yeah. 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 It's it's probably the safest place to be. It's easier for me to explain to people by saying, oh, yeah, I was banned from Blackwater rather than the sheriff told me not to go to Blackwater for my own safety. Oh, I, I get you. What are you saying I, to people, George? You're banning people. I know. <laughs> it's for my safety. Don't worry. I was I was in a spot of trouble. It's a long story, Ames. I probably have a report about it somewhere. Why, did Miss Cynthia beat you up? Is that why you banned her from town? Oh, no. my goodness. I would never. No. Oh, he, he, you know, did George tell you that he... Bloody, you know, he hit me with a knife. Well, he slashed me with a knife. What did I you do to deserve that, sir? I was aiming I for a deer. I told him to stab an animal that was walking in the street, put it out of oh. his misery, and he stabbed the animal twice, and then he got me as a third, which so I feel as though he oh. was getting some rage out on me. Before. I don't have much practice swinging a knife around. It's tricky. You don't swing You don't swing a knife at an animal, Joel. You just put it in there and go, I'm oh. trying and to would... cover a big surface area so I don't miss it. Did you hog tie it first? Did you? Oh, I had lasso? it with the rope. I had I lassoed it. Yeah. You see, Ames had it with the rope, and he was too close to it. I don't know whose side I'm on here. Well, that's fair enough. You know, we bicker like this quite a lot, to be honest. Yeah, I've noticed, like an old married couple. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, that. Well, at least Dang. I still got he... my hair. He did tell me about your egghead. No, I... yeah, that's correct. Do you want to see? Yeah, moon? I want to see how shiny it is with the moonlight. Be mindful of your eyes because there's oh, a full okay. moon out, I'm fairly certain. If a, yep, yeah, there it is. Be... It's going to reflect in your eyes. Oh. oh, no, I'm blind. That's it. Oh, there it is. Don't, you, don't look directly at it. Oh, God. Yeah. Does any hair I've follicles been, uh... grow or do you shave it every day? No, uh, my head uh, follicles on my head decided to migrate great south uh, for the winter and have not returned, as you can see. Right. I see. Right. How's Blackwater? Obviously not very entertaining if you're off patrolling. We were, we were checking the bison herd. Very important. Very important. And then you happen to see me out here. Well, I ain't, I ain't after any bison. Don't you worry. I uh, thought you were a man in a suit. From afar, what? I was thinking, what's that? You think I look like a man? The, I'm going to go up on the top of this George. hill. The, the, no, the deal's from I'll far away. The hat with the dark green with the white, it looked like a tuxedo from very far away. Why would someone wear a tuxedo in the middle of a field? That's what I was wondering. Oh, my goodness. I, I, it was very far away out of my peripheral vision. All right. Well, you know, you, you forgot my name and you think I look like a man. Just... I... J yeah. J I gotta get back to work. All yeah, right. George, there's certain things you don't admit to people. You either. behave yourself. I, we'll do, I man. just try to be honest, God damn it. You jackass. I. What's wrong with being honest? <laughs> what's wrong with being honest? You, you, <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> James, what are you doing getting off your horse? Ames, don't go in them bushes. Oh, what are you doing pissing it off? Did you get it? Holy shit. Hey, George. Okay. Go get what? Do you want? Do you want it? No, I don't want it. You sure? I yeah. have it. Oh, there we go. There's a. For, it's a free hunt. Yeah, I did shoot it though. With, Thank uh, you. I I better be dead. I ain't getting bit. Oh by. no, it is. Oh, what's ah. yeah, There we go. Oh, ah! Oh, you've done that before. That was. Ah, uh, yeah, that was not a first time. It's just like peeling a uh, banana. Ah! Oh. Peeling a banana. What a description. That's oh. fantastic. I like that. Oh, that's not, it's not, that will never be okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, there we go. Uh, I know the doctor, well, you already probably know this. You've probably done the snakes before. The doctors do like to vent uh, them, uh, 
them fangs for inventing oh, this. Oh, well, stuff. that's good to know. I'll hold on to them. Yeah, Dr. William in town. Uh, well, actually, I think he's gone off for a ride, but uh, I think I'm pretty certain they use that for their uh, anti venom. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I was just going to sell everything on mass, but I'll just yeah. help you. Do you want the snake, George? Nope. Nope. No, Can thank I put you. It on his horse. I don't want it. Georgie, you up the snake? Nope. No, no, no. No, thank you. What are you doing? Riding around, George. I'm staying mobile. It really doesn't matter. Ah! Look at him! Come on, Blackwater's probably on fire. We gotta get back. Big baby. I... That's a fair comment, George. Where's the bus? In quick! Oh, watch out, Coyote. The Texan might you say he's aiming for the bushes. God damn it. God damn it, Texan! That one, it just writes itself. Where's this fucking herd gone? Snake is it's a dead snake. It no, it, it no longer has any importance. Howdy, partner. Hey, how's it going, sir? Going good. How you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm doing good, huh? Hey, my name's uh, Captain George Hughes with the local law department. Would you ever have any ID you could produce for me? ID? What's uh, your yeah. ID for, huh? Personal identification. Display, uh, it shows your name, weight, age, all that for the government. Yeah, I'm kind of new to this whole place, the whole country, you know. Just... Just came in on a train, so. Oh, that's right. Uh, do you have any? Uh, do you have a spare five dollars? Five dollars. What do you need five dollars for? Uh, to get a uh, an ID processed over there at the courthouse. Oh uh, yeah, I believe I do. Well, yeah. If you could uh, get that sorted for us soon, that would be appreciated. Uh, you've picked a, a tricky time to come on into Blackwood. We're currently uh, under martial law. Oh, what what should that mean? The martial law is where we uh, we as the lawman get uh, extra privileges and uh, powers, so to speak, to uh, maintain law and order. And uh, something that is a uh, compulsory with everyone in this fine country is they need a uh, they need to get personal identification as soon as they can. Uh, okay. Back in a second, George. Well, we get a shorter dinner. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's just like an Italian mobster. Like, his name would be like Tony Soprano or something. <laughs> you wise guy, eh? Yeah, I'm walking here. That's Cyrus? Speed on in.
What's Ames doing in there? Huh? What's he doing? He's bloody slacking off, eh? Uh, a courthouse, cheesy. Or like a place where you can sign up for ID. Dogs rolling in. Oh, who's showing? They're taking a bit. There he is. Y'all good? Oh, hang on. Let's go, George. Oh, what's happened? Yeah, these boys messing around. Bring your invite. Out of parties, you mind? Let me, join. let me go so I can join. You mind telling us what's going on here? Play uh, he stacks on. Uh, uh, gentlemen, you're aware that's martial law in Blackwater? Yeah. To lay on the upper man. <laughs> Alright, so part of martial law, can't have any of them long arms on your back. I just need you to take them oh, off. And just stop okay, them. okay, sir, I got you. Right, pistols are right. I'm happy with the bowls, just no rifles, no shotguns and such, no repeaters. No I got you, sir. All right, where's yeah, my right. horse? I fucked it up. Just, have, just rough housing? Just rough housing, yeah, sir. Mate, we, we just walk around. Around. Before you head out, can we uh, get see some IDs as well? Uh, how do I get my ID out, sir? Uh, yeah, I've kind of left my ID at home, eh? Have you gotten one from a long. train station or the courthouse yet? Uh, no, sir. No. Oh, yeah, good so thing we yeah. ran into you three boys. We'll follow us. We'll get you. We'll get you sword. Y'all got five dollars on you. Yes, sir. Oh. No. <laughs> Any of y'all got That's five dollars right. to lend to your friend? I have negative one. <laughs> negative. <laughs> we'll just we'll just add we'll 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 six dollars seventeen for me. How about we'll, we'll make it the next thing that we buy? Uh, so yeah, yeah. No, that's. I think that. Yeah, that's fine, gentlemen. So, just. Uh, you know, obviously, while in Blackwater, you could be stopped and searched, and uh, yep. also ID'd, ID'd uh, while you're in Blackwater. So Where do we get the... one of those IDs from again, sorry? So if you're in Blackwater and you're looking for one, if you see the building behind me with the uh, the clock on it, that's the city hall. So hey, Jed, what's your magic number? So you can get it from uh, city hall, um, you know, it'll cost you five dollars. Mr. Jethro's in there. He's at the main desk. You, you definitely won't miss Mr. Jethro. He gets very excited about his job. He stands on his desk. 
Oh, really? Yeah, oh, correct. So he loves his job. He loves his job. Now, um, yeah, just so once you get them RDs, because oh obviously uh, that's a you know state requirement. You can be uh, you can get a fine uh, if you What's don't. The, I have money now. Well, there I you go. That's the, that, get an that's the enthusiasm we want to see. What's Come on, fellas, oh, go join your friend. Get that sorted. What's the point of having to, like no idea or anything? Oh, okay. what, like the pr how much it costs? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. More than five dollars. Yeah, I think it's like fifteen dollars or something like that. From memory. Shit. I, just off the top of my head, what? I have to. That's not good, mate. No. Hang on. So, so, so where are we going to get some RD? Yeah. So just at the end of the, clock you see that the brick building with the clock on the top of it? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Mr. Jethro, the desk in the lobby. Uh, he's and, his and, what, what, and, how, and how do we go about getting go that? Get like, do we need anything? No, no, just need to take yourself down there. Mr. Jethro is the assistant down in the courthouse, and he'll uh, he'll uh, he'll help you guys out. He, you won't miss him as soon as you enter the doors. He's standing on his desk. He's uh, he's quite. Uh, he's oh damn! Character. Is he like a circus freak or something? Oh, I don't know. He he just yeah. I don't know if there's something on the ground he's scared of or something. But yeah. But uh, if you need and. Uh, so he can help you out with your RDs, but he can also help you out with like so other things like hunting licenses and uh, oh, yeah. fishing licenses, and also uh, you know if your your boys are looking to get into security, they can get a security license. You know, you can be uh, okay. People can hire you to uh, you know do that kind of thing. So okay, that sounds good. Uh, I have one more question as well, uh, mm -hmm. or more of a statement. If you guys see uh, Mr. Bobby Harlow. Can you can you tell him to stop making fun of my dusty nag? <laughs> Mr. Bobby Harlow's making fun of your dusty nag. Yes, sir. He's been mean to me last night. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, if we do see him, uh, he does come into town. So if we do see him, we'll uh, we'll get on to him and get him to uh, you know. I appreciate it, sir. My name's John Dusty, by the way. Uh, Mr. Dusty, a pleasure to meet you. White Ames. Nice to meet you. George Hughes. George Hughes. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, I believe uh, I took sir, Mr. Well, Harlow yeah, to get his ID yesterday. Yeah. Mr. Harlow to get... Okay. All right, well, uh, I'll see you guys around. I'll see you in the newsletter, I assume, too. There's a newsletter? I don't know. I, I don't think I got on the newsletter. Do you get on the... The newspaper? George. Oh, George probably does. He's got a photogenic smile. He smiles. Do I? Well. Yeah, Joe. Well, uh, when he does, I haven't been He's approached been... about any newspaper yet. Some someone called it Discordia the other day too. Oh, I'll just call. Well, that's a very interesting name for a newspaper. But... Uh, yeah, anyway. yeah. Anyway, I'll see you boys around. I'll go get my ID now. Uh, you enjoy, sir, and uh, you know, enjoy roughhousing with your friends. Just uh, yeah, and try and keep it out of the street. The wagons will run you over otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> All right, so you have a fantastic day. And remember, when you cross the train tracks with both ways, otherwise you're going to get about a uh, 100 tons worth of holy shit hitting you. Okay, sounds <laughs> good. Thanks, sirs. <laughs> yeah, there was a train that came through yesterday, actually, George. Yeah, uh, Cyrus and I had a little ride just to uh, across the Blackwater Plains just to experience it. It, it is quite the spectacle, sir. The, uh, the view, my God, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, it's, uh, I've been built, they've been trying to get a train line down here for quite some time. It's, uh, it's good to finally see they got it down here. It's exciting times. Well, it'll just make it easy for people, you know, folks come down a bit easier than, you know, riding a horse for a couple of Yeah. Miles. Well, now there is two of the finest gentlemen in this country. Oh, howdy! I'm about howdy to tell you to take your fucking gun off I, your back. I, be I bet you I was. <laughs> <laughs> we uh yeah we thought we'd come up and uh and see what was going on. Well, would you believe people are behaving? <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't worry about it. But I'll tell you what, Mr. Hughes, you know, I feel as though Mr. Hughes is getting kickbacks from uh Mr. Jethro, the uh the typist down at the city hall, because he keeps getting people to get RDs. I think he sent at least eight or ten people down oh, there over the Last two shifts, thank you, George. Just doing my job, sir. You know, just doing my job. Uh, well, you know, be careful, Mr. Hughes. You know, that gentleman is getting old. You know, his wrist, you know. Well, we're going to need more IDs. Oh, shit. Take some out. That's all anybody <laughs> needs, a broken wrist. You can get one. Oh, damn. People How's behaving. That, that's a shock. That really is just... Yeah. 
Jake, Whoa, bro, what the? Where the doctors are? Jake, like the, where the doctor okay. spot is? The doctors, yeah. Uh, yeah, come, come with me. I'll walk you down there, sir. That's easy. Just be, be mindful of that horse. It seems to be a bit. Uh, it's getting a bit jumpy. I think it's going to kick someone in a minute. You get feeling? What you hey there, Mr. Yourself? Mr. George. Yeah, Howdy. I think so. Hey, I might need some help with my identity card. Uh, I just tried putting in my details, and it said they weren't correct. Oh, did you make sure you put the right number in for your weight and your height? And uh, did you make sure to remember uh, to put the right birth year? I, it, I have no idea when, when, what my hair color and stuff's meant to be in my height. I don't know how much I weigh. Oh, look, you just, as long as it's approximate, you know, it's in the, within the ballpark. You know, it looks like you got dark brown hair or black. Yeah, yeah. I think you're about the same height as me, so about six foot, I guess. Okay. Um... The, the main thing is that it's got your name. Okay. And, uh... Let me just check your eye color. Uh, what is that? They should be blue, I think. Yeah, it looks blue to me. Yeah. And what about the image, too? Do I get my photo taken somewhere? Oh, look, that that's something that can be done down the track. It doesn't have to be done straight away. Okay, okay, sir. It's a it takes it's a little fiddler to do that that Discordia you're talking about. That's probably where you'll want to get some advice on that. Okay, sir. Well, thank you. That's all I right. Appreciate it. it. It took me two goes to get my ID done, so don't feel bad. Okay, sir. I'll Last know, time I'll I did it, it was in crap. Spanish. Oh, hey, George, Jesus. you mind just telling Cynthia to just uh, take a carbine off her back? She's back in black war. Oh fuck! She just went into the fuck. bank. She's gonna fucking kill me. Got it. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm gonna have to add... What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, you were saying? I gotta, I gotta ask you to take the long arm off in town. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. It's all right. It's okay. These things happen. Bows yeah, are I'll... all right in town. It's not considered technically oh, a long arm. I was arm, told apparently. it was a long arm, because it's long. Well... <laughs> I heard from Some the, of you laughing, all right? I heard, I heard from the deputy marshal that it's not technically a long arm. So if anybody asks, right. you tell them that deputy marshal Ames said it's okay, all right? I, I will. All right. No worries. All right. Oh, you know what? I just did. Hang on. I'll give you something. Oh, don't give me no goddamn snake. What the? F you kill this it's yourself? I did it. It was only a black bear and it was running away from me. So it was honestly more, uh, it was not very nice, but I did it. I hunt, hunted a bear. Of course Next it was time. running away from you. It heard about all the other animals you killed in the food chain. Ne well, the ducks got to him, I guess. But next up is a grizzly bear, right? Or a wolf. Jesus Christ. When you go, when you go out doing that, make sure you let somebody know in case you don't come back. No, so you're my meat shield. Him. I'm taking you with me. You're the meat shield. All right. But just make sure it's not tonight. Tonight I'm... I'm no, really no, trying not to. Tonight. I'm really trying to make sure that it's in the marshal's head that I've been here helping out for the marshal yeah. law. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. I uh, I have my medical interview tomorrow. By the way, I just received word. Excellent, excellent. So, that I, that'll be here before you know it. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Maybe they won't like me, but Howdy. I hear they need a lot of people. Ah, you'll be fine. Howdy. They hide Yuri. I, you know what? You got a point there. Hey, hi, Yuri. Enough. You'll be fine. Have you met yeah. Dolores? I've, I've, I'm scared of Dolores. I've seen her around. She yelling at people for old dying when they are uh, they were at the birthday bash and everyone got beaten up and there was like a pile of corpses ten high. Well, not corpses. They were all knocked out, but she had to come by and revive everyone with some of that some of that uh, injection. And uh, she was not happy that everyone decided to knock each other out. I would like to say that I stayed on the roof. I did not participate. Excellent. I was good, and uh, I did not get yelled at. But I saw her yell at other people. It was a lot. I would, I would, yeah. If I had any recommendation, I'd say maybe consider emulating Dolores's good traits. Oh, the, oh yeah, I guess so. Howdy. So hey. don't make everyone terrified of me. No, just the animals. Uh, what I, I told you to make people scared of me, you know. 
I I haven't I haven't seen anybody. Well, yeah, fair enough. It's so quiet. I can't believe how quiet it is here. Howdy. Howdy. All right, I better get back to the other department. But you keep them long arms up in town now, yeah. Oh, can I have my bear claw back? Oh yeah. That's my memento. Sorry, it's, it, I, I, if I get another one. No, thank, no, no, it's fine. You, it's fine. No, no problem. Well, I'll see you later, Miss Wheel. Bye. <laughs> what game train you be pushed back a spot? What the fuck happened? These been patrols. I've been up on the rooftops looking, more, you know, you know, looking around and. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, you make quite a few arrests at all. What oh. was that? You made any arrests here for because of the martial law? <sighs> no, you know, people have just been warned about their guns. Uh, on their back. Some people are forgetting, but they comply as soon as we mention it to them. So, you know, I'm going to give them a bit of a pass on that the first time. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's fucking amazing. You know what I mean? They're just like, oh shit, I'm in, I'm in Blackwater, and they put the guns away. So people have been pretty good. Uh, George. Oh shit, I rode into a town that I can vis visibly see, and I forgot to put my long arm. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, it's a little bit of a. Uh, yo, um, fatigue. Oh, you're John Dusty. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. Because of. Uh, well, thing you know, numbered against us. It made it I imagine so, Game Train. Uh, You'd have to you know, queue up. Hint, so like, I feel like you got to queue up before five. Pushing it, uh, pushing it uh, you know, in all the other towns as well. So, yeah, sure. including bowls as well, or just long arms? No, I'm just no long arms. I think you know bowls. You can fuck. shit. Are, we can't get the yeah, ID you know, card. Draw that thing. By the time no, it's finicky. Arrow, um, put it on the, on the, hold on, let me. And try and draw back. Shit. I'm gonna be in my head I've for seen, a minute. I've seen how Wolf let me bring up mine. Let's see if done. I can remember any tips. So here's mine. So you got yeah, first name, last name, date of birth. So you got to put the zero. You know, you got the, the two numbers there for day, month. And then you've got to do like, um, then you've got to do the, the year you were born. So it's 1900. So I wanted George Hughes to be about, um, about 30 years old. So I put 1869, lol, nice. Um, uh, I did it in Valentine, so that was automatic. Then I was like, okay, eyes color green, hair color brown. I did weight, I was like 90 kgs. That's like a normal healthy weight for a six foot guy, right? Um, height, six foot is about 102, 182 centimeters. Uh, sex, M for male, employed as, I don't think I had to put anything there. And then I think I clicked, um, then I think I, you click the, the stamp part of sign, which like signs it. So you've got to have all those sections correct. Then you click like the sign bit and then it's all done. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why there was no grace period for you, Callan. Like, that's the weirdest part. Like, I thought that's how it worked. You have five dollars, right? <laughs> Hmm. I'm having a bit of a flashback. Oh, jeez. <laughs> a bit of a... Oh, yeah, right. Got a few spare, you know. Yeah, George, have you realized mm -hmm. that... Uh, you know, I'm not sure if you've realized that Marcus has essentially taken all the ammo the Rangers had, and uh, <laughs> he's currently wearing it. Well, then he knows where it is. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah, it's that's all right. accounted for. <laughs> new recruits might want to dip into the... To the uh, you know armory lock and take a box out. <laughs> no, no, you'll no, just no. take the whole fucking armory. No, no, no. Oh, for a minute there, I thought you'd just say, yeah, if the recruits need ammo, they'll be like, oh, come over here to Ranger Wolf. You can take it off me. No, they only get one. I love bullet how you've uh, gun anyway. I love how you put a gold chain with a watch in the end on the gun belt there, just to uh, make it a bit more sparkly. Well, thank you, Parm. Little pizzazz, I guess. Wait, he's on. Fuck now. I think I've been doing this thing wrong. I wasn't going to try and wear a bandolier until, uh, you know, if I'm, unless I needed it to, but, uh, 
Life is good. Yeah, no, it uh, feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> How can you even walk with that much ammo? Well, why do you think he he steps so wide? He's got to. He hasn't even got him on tight enough. It's gonna fall off his ass if he doesn't fucking step wide. Yeah, look, honestly, Miguel, I guess you called me out. You know, they are, uh, you know, they're not, uh, they don't have any gunpowder in them, and the ones that are uh, from the department, they're no Sounds like Santa Claus every box. time he takes a step. It's all the jiggling around. That's what, that's all the jangle. <laughs> they're I swear empty. to fuck, if we're chasing a suspect while not, and you fucking lose them because you drop your pants or something, you will never lose that. Well, at least you won't lose me, because you hear me jingling around, you know. And, and you'll see you because all you need to get a lantern out, you're gonna Ooh, bloody sorry. shine like a, you know, light. You know, all them shiny bullets on you. Be careful in a full moon. I see you coming from a mile away. Maybe I might use that to my advantage, you know, blind them up a bit. Oh, I did that. I do that to people. I just take my hat off, especially with the full moon. The uh, <laughs> reflections are fantastic. <laughs> Oh, damn, the boys in red in town, huh? Oh, howdy, boss. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, sir. How's, How's it going, boys? Did you have your pistols? Found, found everything all right? Yeah, I found it. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> you there, shorted. Oh, that's good to hear. No, and, uh, hey, awesome. these are some of the lawmen, so the gentlemen in the red vest, the uh, western uh, sheriffs there, uh, Valentine, Strawberry, and Blackwater, and then the gentlemen in brown, coats and hats and stuff are, uh, they're, they're rangers. They're down in the uh, down the west. So if you oh, ever okay. found yourself down out west, uh, be mindful it is dusty. These gentlemen we uh, be around to, to help you out. Gotta go get to James's wagon so I can yeah. get some water in it. I thought it was some sort of gang in town or oh. something. No, no, <laughs> well, so no. many people in red. No, no, it's uh, just lawmen, which is good. No, that's what we want. We don't want uh, definitely don't want gangs in town. That's for sure. And that's what we're trying to. Uh, Make sure nobody, uh, that's why we got the martial law. We're making sure nobody's uh, trying to, you know, make people feel unsafe in this town. Getting it back to a bit of law, you know, getting the law in order, so to speak. Yeah, none of them fucking criminal scum, right? That's right, you know. <laughs> yeah, fucking bastards. Everyone's got it. These, these fine folk have a job to do, and that's uh, to keep these streets safe, so. Yeah. Try our best. Oh, that's good to hear, boys. I'm gonna keep on going, huh? No, not a problem, sir. Yeah, yeah. You enjoy, and yeah, if you need anything, give us a holler, as always. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. Thank you. Good luck, brother. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah. Here's an idea next time. The governor could tell us first. Tell you about first martial law. <laughs> little heads up. A little heads up to the sheriff's summit. Oh, we're doing martial law. Yeah, we had so no you know. idea. Oh, he did give you a heads up. An announcement oh, to the community. Yeah. They told the community. Hey, put the paper. Hey, do you know how long? Do you know how long it took him to fucking write that decree? I had to spell check it for him. <laughs> he could have gone, oh, I'm martial law. That'd be a thing up, and that's it. Not out. He was. But he does drink it. Was, uh, he was coming. furious. You know. Could have told us. He was very, very angry. You know, you can imagine why. You know, the marshal had to spell check because, uh, you know, he was very oh, furious yeah. at, at what was going on. You know. Blatantly, you know, these folk telling deputies to fuck off, you know, and pretty much, you know. They never told us to fuck Speaking off. Speaking of which, if this but, gentleman you know, doesn't, you feel free to tackle him, boys. Uh, look at that long. He does smell a bit, don't he? Back, please. Yeah, he does. That, that's some bow, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, bow back. Any weapon off your back. Uh, I said these gentlemen that are. Oh, you could? Yeah, yeah. I'm that's not too worried about that. Uh, just mind, long arm. Just remind just, just, just to trot in town, not, uh, not gallop. No more goods. Hey, uh, where's George? I finally oh. got my stupid ID card. Oh, 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 Jesus! Oh, you okay? Oh, no, the deputy marshal! Okay, sir. Are you okay, Give sir? Give me a second. I'm oh. sorry, my dusty day gets a little... Gets a little oh. nervous around you, please. Give me a second, that hurt. Look, oh. Maybe if you produce your ID, uh, it'll off, give sir. the marshal uh, here the strength to get gonna... back up. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. Uh, George. Yeah. Take like a chip, yeah. sir. Ooh. Honestly, you know, I'm wearing this vest purely for the fact that if I put oh, your Mr. vest Dusty. on and take my coat off, yeah, uh, sir. No. Bleach must run through it. Yeah, yeah it's ridiculous. I've been considering uh, changing my vest as well. Yeah. I, I, I should have spoken to sh the gonna, sheriff about that yesterday. But do you want to go get the uh, the vest number for you uh, so you'd be able to change it? Have you shown Mr. One. Hughes? Yeah, what's the number? Next time, no, no, I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Okay. My horses. What is that one? I'm going to walk this off. Ow. Mr. Hughes, I got it all sorted. Ow. You want to... You'll be fine. 
Get, uh, oh, yep. Walking off that hook. Nice. John, oh, perfect. Excellent. Room. Love to see it. Might need to take a seat there, Marshall. Thanks Appreciate that, Mr. Need Dusty. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. That, uh, it's been a while since I've been kicked. Excellent. Which is a blessing and a curse. That's good. Yeah, we just. We've got the martial law happening around here. We just want Blackwater oh, to goodness me. be a safe place for everyone again. Just so oh, people can right. live their lives. Now, what did Mr. Tennant have to say? Uh, so, while I say that, I'm looking people. at broken glass no, in the no, saloon, but, you know, it's a work in progress. Hey, do you boys know if the if the man at the dock is doing his jobs today? Can't say. Oh, it's in if it he's uh, taking... Uh, if he's got delivery, delivery. Uh, I do believe off. I do believe he's not offering jobs until uh, uh, after the storm. He's scared about the storm approaching. Oh, oh okay. So I think that might be what, just have a talk to him. Might be there. Okay, I'll go have a yeah, chat you know. to him. Oh, right, well, thank you, boys. Right, so, I'll see you later. No worries, Mr. Dusty. I just spoke to the gentleman at the counter at the uh, clothing store, and he said it's the thirteenth one on the shelf. Thirteenth yeah, one. All right, I might grab one of them in the red. Yeah. That actually work. Number thirteen. Is this coat misbehaves? It's a very silly vest. The bloody colour runs. Do 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 do. Oh, fatigue. It, it happens all the time. Everyone, like, lawmen are always getting kicked in the face by horses. It's so good. It's the funniest shit. The horses in country, they're a menace, mate. They're a menace. 13th vest. Okay, let's go. I always forget that the vest is down the bottom. I'm assuming just this one? <laughs> no, we all, we a whole bunch of us struggle to keep a straight face when something funny like that happens. It's it it happens to the best of us. Howdy, Lou. Howdy. Give me one moment. Is Jack still in here? Jack, did I pick the right color? Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, Jack, did I... Yeah, did we get it right? I think so. They look right. Yeah. Howdy. Hello? Where's what, the gun shop? Is he here? I don't know what you're talking about. You guys know where the gun shop is? I think it's on the main on the, street. On the other side, Phil. But on, on this other side? No, the other street. The other one. On the other side. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Thank you very much. Yeah, right. Anyway, how you doing, gentlemen? Very good. Yeah, right. What's going on? Oh, just babysitting Blackwater, but it's it's gone from too crazy to too quiet. Yeah, right. Sorry, I got a toilet like this I'm under cover. Uh, That's all good. Um, yeah, we're down that down tumbleweed. Got a big thing going on down there. Big room. Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah. So if. Uh, you see me down there. You know, it's. Oh, hang on, I'm in that one second. There we go, you got a big taste on down there. Is that a. Is 
so bad. How's, how's this old uh, dunk treating you? Yeah, it's not too bad. No, you know, it's, it's fine. There's yeah. no mud at least. Uh, That's good. Uh, how's the, uh, the old ML treating you? Yeah, not too bad. People behaving, but I'm surprised. Uh, Very surprising. I thought you'd be running around like a bunch of lunatics. <laughs> Uh, I just, I'm, I'm just worried about where they may be uh, oh, causing trouble elsewhere. Uh, yeah, there's always trouble everywhere. I mean, if I ain't here, probably Saint Denis, probably be tumbleweed, I'm dealer. Always trouble around. You just gotta find it. <laughs> oh, oh, trouble come looking for you. Oh God. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, I'm gonna go down to that hot ass. Hole. No worries, mister. I'll catch you later. Safe I travels. Be drunk as hell. Where did Jack go? Ah, crap again. <laughs> Arrest that horse. I think he went into the stall. Excuse me, horse. I'm gonna need to see some ID. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to produce some ID. And if not, I'm gonna have to take you down to the courthouse. Horse is like. Don't you know who I am? I need no bloody... I need no bloody ID. You can get out of my face, Mr. Lawman. Oh, whoa, jeez. Is there a better... Just, yeah, this, it's got that slight stripiness to it the best which I don't think is what I don't think is what the um the sheriff was after let's see is there where is red Oh, that's the buttons. Oh, I thought maybe you could change the color of the other stripe. Until the sheriff comes up with another set vest that works. I might go back to Old Faithful. This one I used to wear all the time. Old Faithful. I, I rarely have issues with stress. Um... But yeah, just make sure that when you got some downtime, just take a knee. Get it all up. But yeah, the more you like... But yeah, I... Not that I've gone... Done a lot of like galloping around on the horse and shooting things. But yeah, I never... I, I don't think I've ever had issues with the stress. Apart from like the general annoyance where it's like, Oh no, I gotta kneel for a bit. The wolves stressed you out? I... I don't remember if I've been attacked by wolves since the, the stress system came into play. I just, yeah, I, I have not stopped and thought, damn, this stress is hindering my gameplay. But I'll, I'm sure there'll be a first time. Where did Jack go? Is that him? Jack? Yeah, I've decided until we get the color resolved, I'm going to go with this double-breasted vest. Oh, that looks nice. Um, just because I don't like the stripy look of that one that yeah, Sledge yeah. recommended. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fair. Good of him to be trying, but yeah, that the lines are pissing me off. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> oh, Calvin. Oh, buddy. 
Oh man. It'd be great to be going on patrol with Woodman. It'd be great to be going on patrol with Woodman. Where'd they all go? Oh, I do. Can't see you two at all. Holy god. I had to cancel my Uber Eats order. Waiting over nine minutes. Never arrived. Might as well to the building or something. That's a good idea. You reckon they stole your order? I once had that happen in Brisbane. Like, an order was taking way too long. And, like, the map was so sus. I was like, I swear they've just driven north out of Brisbane with my food. I was like, I think they've driven to the Sunshine Coast with my with my Happy Meal. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's a bit sus, eh? Or, you want, or sometimes I'm like, what if they've gotten into a car crash or something serious? It makes me feel bad to think that they're doing a bad job. But then there's also ones where it's like, you leave the note, like, just leave it at the door. Or... Or they can't even get your address right, and you're like, oh, this is kind of annoying. There's, what, what did AIM say his fellow's name? Jethro? Oh, I think so. He's up on that desk again. That doesn't surprise me. He probably drinks a lot. Oh, you reckon? Shit. Looks like it. Get down, Jethro. What are you drinking, Jethro? No one's in here. Quiet. Quiet one, ain't you, Jethro? Mm. Well, Governor, uh, the boys are sick and tired of your rules, so uh, this is stick up. <laughs> oh, they are. You it's are a, all here. It's a complete turnover. Oh, oh hi, George. Uh, and that was George's idea as well. The, mo the moment this boy can't get paid or access his ledger, now he's all up and oh, yeah. man. What? I'm well, gonna go down the west uh, and down with Wolf. As the, uh, as the sailors would say, this is a mutiny, sir. Uh, yes. <laughs> Oh my. Alright, well, anything else you boys did to let me know? Um, once they're done, I'll uh, pop up and uh, let you know about something that I've been uh, working on. No, no, I, you can share it with me right now. I don't Alrighty. think anyone else have anything. I've got this itch. Uh, okay, I've I don't need to know about <laughs> that. <laughs> Maybe see Dolores. She might be able to help you out with that. Oh, Dr. Williams said I just shouldn't scratch it, but it's hard not to. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've been. Um, Writing up something in my notebook, uh, just just more of a guideline for training towards negotiation. So as you know, I've been part of the East, I'm now part of the West. I've seen most of the negotiation skills across the board. Uh, I believe we needed sort of like a guideline, not not an SOP, um, but more of a guideline that pe people can look back on, people can um, like reflect on if they need have any questions, they can just check that. And I've made something in um with the help of uh u.s marshal gabe um he did he was the first person to look over it and so himself uh, he looked over it I've, I've also shown i'm pretty sure everyone in this department in this room here has seen or maybe seen the section of it i know uh u.s marshal uh white seen it there but it's just a guideline for negotiations and robberies I was just wondering if we could possibly uh, implement it in a guideline aspect, not SOPs, nothing like that, but just a, a quick look over for, for departments to look at and give to their new recruits. Um, so when it comes to it and they need to negotiate, there won't be any issues. Well, look, son, I'm more than happy. If, if there's something that's going to help you boys, I'm more than happy. How about you slide it across my desk? I'll have a quick glance at it and I'm we'll sure we right can uh, get something that uh, oh. something done for that. You're about to say quick squares, weren't you, Governor? Yeah, I was Have a little bit of a squiz, Taylor. Why am I being happy? Cigars. Fucking squiz, Taylor. All right. Well, speaking of that, I was just mentioning before, uh, while, I'm having, while I have a little read of that, um, I want to say congratulations, boys. Blackwater's looking really well right now. Holy shit. I, I went outside and didn't hear gunshots and hear people yelling when people running around the streets. So uh, Probably keep this up. Days. I was gonna, I had it set for a week, but you boys have managed to get it done so far in two days. If I see it like this in another two days, well, let's just say there might be bonuses across each of the departments. Yeah, it's um, not like I do this for money, but it uh, would be good to see. 
Well, yeah. well, Marcus definitely needs the money for his <laughs> just so you might want to donate it. Well, thank you, Governor, and thank you, Deputy Marshal, because yes, uh, we, we 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 do need any any donations to the cause as much as. Uh, well, speaking um, of, speaking of which, I managed to uh, surprisingly we managed to win one of those uh, court cases that we had against the uh, against the public. So I got a bit of funds extra for your uh, ledger. So I'll have a chat with you uh, a bit later about giving that hand that over to you. Sure, partner. Thank you very much. No problem. Other than that, boys, I haven't got anything else on my plate. I've just got a bunch of things I need to get worked uh, so, worked um... on. Just quickly there, Governor. I've uh, seemed to have lost, um, lost, lost. Uh, I, I made like four copies and I've handed them all out. Uh, is there any chance that, uh, Marshal, sir, that you can uh, yeah, hand him a copy? Uh, yeah, I'll uh, hand him a copy. That's all right. But, uh, there's something more important. I think it's what? somewhere in here. Let me have a look. Calico always got cigars for you. I need a cigar. We need to get cut. Yeah, we need to go there. It's got cigars. For the next hour, apparently, they're going to have cigars. No, we definitely well, well, well. It was a very good read too uh, on uh, those negotiations. I, I quite enjoyed um, sitting down and, and having a read. I couldn't uh, couldn't kind of stop. It was uh, it was very good. It was really really good. Well, that's what I like to hear. Well, like you Texas Rangers have been training these boys. I'm gonna say I'm sure it's gonna be well documented. But, yeah, um, we'll, we'll use that. Set well. one. He got shit kicked. Definitely. Yeah, I'd also like to. Um, I don't know if this would come through, but. Uh, deputies are coming through to us. We had a situation with a it was a Richard Gray that uh -huh. yeah he's gone. Um, we had a big situation with him. Um, I was going to just uh, as I was his uh, direct supervisor, being a senior deputy, I was going to just have words with him. But then I hear more, and more, and more shits coming through. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, when I was napping, and uh, Harkness here took took charge and uh, let him go due to the fact that he uh, just didn't distill. Uh, what we wanted and as a lawman. People. And he was robbing people, correct? Um, well, robbing people? Disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. Well, handcuffing them, apparently. Yeah, well, so I will he... not I will not have any form of corruption in my departments. So I'm well, glad what you fine. did what you did. Get oh, him I'll out of here. I'll charge him with uh, corruption anyway. To, to, to alleviate learning curves, I was thinking, um, I don't, like I've spoken to Hartness about this, uh, not you so much there at Captain George, uh, it's um, bringing in a, a new rank in the West Sheriff's Department as Assistant Deputy. Oh, whoa. Uh, there's there's a horse. Oh, what, what the, the fuck are you what doing the horse here, outside, boy? please? Hello. Bodman. What, man? Oh, the horse just wanted to join on the meeting, that's all. That's fine. When you get that, ready, just put your uniform back on. That is absolutely not fine. You get that horse, that goddamn animal, out of my office right now. He just wants to be included, Governor, that's all. We've got three seconds, <laughs> Mr. Woodman. Okay, just a second. Whoops, sorry, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Uh, the door's locked on me. Wait. But anyway, I'll just, uh, I'll go back to what I was saying. <laughs> Before I was uh, interrupted by... Uh, Before those two animals of the... came into my office, yep. Uh, yeah. Um, so I was thinking, um, I haven't spoken to Sheriff Bowman yet. I haven't seen him often. Um, but Harkness agrees, and uh, obviously I don't know about George's Pimney, you can pipe up now, but bringing in, once they come from the Texas Rangers, you are implemented as a, an assistant deputy uh, for a seven-day period of learning, and once you've learnt and uh, we can actually uh, say, yeah, this guy's, you know, he's got his head screwed on correctly, we can bump him up to deputy. Well, look, boys, like, as I've said before, it's up to your sheriffs how that happens, and when your sheriffs are around, it's up to your second in charge. Now, if your sheriff's ain't around to make those decisions for you and you're a bit, you know, not sure what to do, you can, your second in charge is able to make those calls. Now, I don't uh, want to make those yeah. calls for you, boys. You boys have got, you know, he head screwed on sounds like pretty well done. So, if worst case scenario, you can always lean on your marshals if you need to, you need a Yeah, so I don't know if we do. can make the rank, I think. Oh, you want, oh, so you need another another pay grade. Is that what you were trying yeah, to let me know? Bit, yes. Yeah, correct. Ah, I, I believe okay. it should still be the same pay as a deputy. It but, is, uh, um, or even up the deputy by 10 cents or something. So it should shit still... Yeah. My, my, my question being in saying that is, what what are you... Are you trying to restrict something from them to do, or...? I, I believe that assistant deputies should not be going on patrol by themselves, only with deputies plus... What's fair? Uh, just to just to get them in their learning loop for a few days. If if obviously if they pr prove themselves 
very quickly as capable uh, lawmen. They can go quicker, but if they seem like they need some remedial training, they can stay in that position for up to seven days until it's shown. If they're still like similar to Richard Gray's position, uh, we can either send them back to. I'm sure the guys down at Texas Rangers wouldn't wouldn't mind uh, retraining. No, people. absolutely not. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. If, if folk need retraining, uh, Sledge, yeah, yeah. And if this works, fucking send them back, and we will. Oh, uh, they will do scorch <laughs> trials, and uh, yeah, they'll have good fun. So here's my learning. suggestion, then, boys, because. But but trying to restrict them, we don't have the budget or the resources to be, you know, putting people in a lower pay grade. Like I'm already getting slammed for minimal uh, wage man. with you boys. All right. Now I don't want to pay you boys well, but I can't pay you boys well if I have to keep making new grades, new parts of oh. money. So how about a solution to that is? If I may, you know, sir. Uh, sure thing. I, I've already spoke. Like I, I mentioned to Sledge, I've already spoken to the sheriff about this. So the sh the sheriff and I agree that we'd like to implement where when they come up from New Austin that they don't actually go on duty or anything like that or are inducted until they've had a, a sit-down interview with the sheriff and they've gone on a ride along with him so he can put a face to the name. Look, boys, again, it's, it, I'm going to leave that decision up to you and up to your sheriffs, right? I can't, I can't make those decisions for you. But what I can suggest is if you do have the situation where you've got a, a, a sheriff or, you know, sorry, a new deputy come in, and, you know, maybe he's not up to speed. He's he's doing the, some bad things or some bad habits. Fuck, boys, send him back down to Texas Rangers and tell him he can't come back until he's, you know, organized. I'm sure Marcus, Marcus over there is more than happy to whip some people into shape. And remember, well, boys, uh, the bad Texas habits Rangers are going to lead to him late knots for... But they're coming paperwork. back... They're coming back on your uh, wages for training. We're not paying them out. Well, well, <laughs> no, well, they'll come back. No, they'll come back, but they'll come back on no pay if they're if they're yeah. if they're made to come back uh, from from their jurisdiction. And and yeah, the the gentleman uh, that we were just uh, mentioning just before, he was a, a fucking wild case, uh, you know. But uh, he did he did do well down in New Austin, which was a, which was somewhat of a shock, uh, you know, because you know we scrubbed him up and. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he he stood in my fucking office with no shoes uh, on the uh, on the first induction, which I didn't even notice what, don't until. Don't you guys give them shoes down there, Wolf? No, oh. no. Um, it was. He doesn't have the budget for that. No, they, we don't. We they do, wrap we, their we, feet in hessian sacks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those bodies out the back there might have grabbed a pair of boots off. You think once wow. you got that train for the first time, time, you should have enough funds to be able to buy a pair of shoes? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, was, yeah, I didn't even notice until a little bit way through, you know, talking to the gentleman. And, uh, you know, he answered the questions well. Uh, he did a live scene as well, which uh, he was involved in one of the uh, biggest busts that we got. And he performed well. Um, so then to, um, to hear that it was it was somewhat of a shock. So I'm, I'm glad that the recent deputy that we sent up was, uh, is kind of made up for that, I guess. And remember, boys, you're always going to get curveballs. People are going to not show oh, their true God. colors maybe until they're uh, put under pressure and oh, things like that. So it's up to you as sheriffs and especially those of you who are seniors to really take charge of those situations. And as I said, if they fucking ain't living up to scratch, you get the you get your highest ranking person either send their ass back to, down to the fucking Texas Rangers or if not, sack them on the spot. Are you the only thing I ask, boys, is you're fair. That's all I ask. Are the county fair? <laughs> no, not the uh, county fair, Actually, Marshall. Mr. Governor, i got a random yeah. question for you. Sure. Shoot, There's Mr. A, woman. There's a fella in county that keeps claiming uh, that he owns all of us and that we're in his back pocket. Oh, yeah. And why are you telling me this, son? Well, there's no real law against people doing that, but, you know, he's going around spreading all this mis misinformation, really. And what would you like me to do about that, son? Well, I'm just looking for some advice, sir. Some I advice. personally would go and have a chat to that gentleman, maybe two or three of you, and uh, make it very We've clear. Already tried, so. Yeah, I had a chat with him the other day. Mr. And... Mr. Woodman, I need to remind you. My gloves, see how white they are? And I need yeah. them to remain clean. What you boys do and what, whether or not it's, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, the polite way, it's up to you. Oh, good, another question. As long as I don't see her or it doesn't come back to me. Because at the end of the day, do you know what's the most important thing, boys? Money? 
Clean no. gloves. Me you getting, good. He oh, getting oh, voted oh. back in as governor next year. Oh, so. oh. <laughs> hey, I've got another question. When you go to the bathroom, do you take the gloves off every time? <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Woodman, can you wait outside for me, please? Oh, what's just ask a question? Mr. Woodman, out outside, please. Okay. Oh. Can you get that goddamn animal out of my office? Oh my god, he's still got In your horse office, he's in the foyer. Yeah, my assistant Tom out there does, probably doesn't appreciate it. He's, he's sitting on the couch. He looks like he drinks a lot, that guy. He's going to make me drink a lot. All right, boys. Well, I need to I need to start making some head work on this paperwork, and I need to take a ride down with the, the rangers and go look at their ledger. So is there anything else you boys need from me? But, uh, yeah. gentlemen, just a piece of advice from uh, that question Mr. Woodman had. Maybe offer to take him on, I don't know, maybe a hunting trip or a hark in the mountains or maybe a fishing trip. And... Uh, Maybe really, really might want to think about uh, the language you use, forceful language, uh, to make him think, rethink what he's saying. If you get my drift. Totally do understand. Yep. Feel right. free to use forceful language uh, to make sure that. Uh, it's a shame we don't have someone that eats people. So, what the just... fuck, Jack? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. That was... Uh, re remember, remember when I said my hands need to stay clean? It also oh, means not gosh. hearing things like that. Well, I should go get your wagon and take you down to the west. <laughs> yeah, I might gentlemen. need that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight thinking about people eating each other. Uh, thank you very much for your time there, Governor. Oh, thank you, boys, for doing you a great can, uh, job. Give that thing oh, to over and let me know when you're feeling. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, this guy very acrobatic. He's in a higher state of meditation all the time. Oh, okay. Cause, cause yeah, I went and had a, I went and had a chat to him, you know, what I heard. Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf, can I yes, borrow your sack over here? Of course. Uh, I'm going to pick Marcus? the governor up. Okay. Yes. Uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to have to... Yeah, head up to Valentine. Seems okay at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's empty at the moment, so... Hello. Woodman, take me to this gold fella. Huh? Uh, yeah, oh, actually, can I sit... Oh, he'll be down either at Valentine or Emerald Ranch, but can I sit on your horse because, uh... Uh, thing. Are you drinking? Sure. Oh. No. Oh. It's a long train trip. Okay. Can't argue with that logic. <laughs> Interesting. All right, Jack. I'm going ahead with Woman to have a chat with Gold. Yeah, we'll we we'll need to go. Yeah, we're going there too. Well, I, I actually own his gun store, so fuck him. Yo, Balistrad. You know, he wants to make all these deals with the supplying us with guns, and then he says he owns us all. Yo, Balistrad, thank you for the raid. So, I think I saw anyway, you at the Blackwater I'll, I'll Saloon. Be, uh, right back uh, for a second. It's all right, you got time. I think I saw, I saw you in the Blackwater Saloon, right? In the green? How was your session today? How's the how's um how's the doctor work going? It's been a quiet night for law tonight. You know, like sometimes I'm stopping and thinking, is this like, is this is this a is this a Monday or what is this? I have to remind myself it's Thursday.
Yeah, I'm I'm sure the the late nighters will will be on their way. on the horse for too long. Oh look, fatigue, we've always got to be, we always be, be dressed our best here in the law department. It's 3.30 a.m. where you are. That, that is definitely time for bed. My goodness. Always balustrate, and again, thank you for the thank you for the raid. Hope you have a wonderful sleep. Rest up. Great. Right, Warden, we're here. Warden. Hey. We're here. All right, let's go. Is he in there? <laughs> Lord Department, anybody home? Check the saloon, or and then if he's not in the saloon, we'll be at Emerald Ranch. Sounds good. Nope. Lord Department, is there a Mr. Gold in here? Nope. Howdy. Howdy. Anybody, uh, anybody seen Mr. Gold today? No, I have not seen Mr. Gold. You tell him that the West Law Department would like to have a chat. Why? What did he do now? Mm, that'll be a conversation for us to have with him, and it's, uh... Right. He, oh, hello again. Ah. He should probably, uh, settle down a little bit. What has he done now? Yeah, we kind of want to know, like, vaguely at least, so he... He it's needs like, to uh, focus on his gun business. Right. Is he bringing trouble in here? Yes. No uh -huh. sign of him, Jack. Oh, you can tell everyone that I own Walter Gold, by the way. 
You own him? What? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, I own <laughs> Alright, thanks for not elaborating. You're all really nah. good at answering questions. Yeah, we, we are. We're very good at that. Yeah. This oh, is by the way, George, George. Hey, uh, since you said that I look like a man, I changed my outfit. What do, you, do I look like a girl now? I d this was- you are very far away. In peripheral vision. Yeah, excuses. You didn't even remember my name the other night. That's just- that's just uncalled for. I don't understand what's going on. I'm just messing with him, don't worry. Y'all get back to your hunt for Mr. Gold, I guess. Come on, fellas, let's get to the ranch. Wait, do you know if it has Mr. Gold been in uh, county? Uh, Today how else would we Today? know if we don't find him? Wait, what? No, I'm just but, saying. But, like, like, did he no, do whatever he did? Yeah, did he did do he it do today? It today? Yeah. yeah. No, he's been doing right. it in this life. Right. Right. No, I kind of, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm not picking up what you're putting down. Jack? Yeah, sorry. Let's do something. You're all right. We just don't want to leave without you. We'll do it. Oh, wait, did Sledge go? No idea. He's just doing whatever he feels like. Jack, what's Jack do? Oh, he's coming. I'll check Valentine, it could be there still. Oh, maybe at Ranch, the Emerald Ranch. Howdy. Hello. This is Captain George Hughes of the West Law Department. We're wondering if Mr. Gold's around. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him here today, actually. Is he at the, um, gun store? Afraid not. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I haven't seen either him or Firefly here today, actually, or this evening, actually, up the store. They didn't mention uh, going on a holiday or anything anywhere, did they? I oh, not that I know of. They might have had a, a bit of a vacation tonight, but that's all I could. That's all I could know. That's right. That's all you know. That's all you know. Appreciate it, ma'am. 
No, I that's all right. So. Um, do you want us to let you know if we do see them, or let them know you're looking for them? Or <sighs> well, look, if if you if you happen to get a hold of him before us this week, uh, please tell him that if he could make a uh, an appointment to speak to hopefully a captain or the sheriff of the West Law Department as soon as possible. Okay. In Blackwater, that would be appreciated. All right, no worries. No worries. Thanks, y'all. We'll, we'll head back to Valentine's see if we spot him again. Bye. Usually, he's easy to find. No. Nope. <laughs> I can hear he's eating, though. Rob? He yep. has been getting harassed a lot there by people. Well, I'm starting to hear that he might be harassing others as well. Yeah. Dolly and Marvel went in there the other day and shot him up. Am I hearing that he's been taking people down there as well? Correct. Do you know who, who instigated all this nonsense? Nope, I went down last night looking for Dolly and Marvin to ask him some questions, but couldn't find them. I feel like we need to be asking around here to find out who the hell... Why are we? Why do we keep hearing about store owners sending people to cause trouble across the country every now and again? Like, what's what started all this and what's it going to take for it to stop? Head to Emerald, etc. Yeah. Uh, Woodman, Howdy. good to see you. We just so, came back uh, from Emerald, no sign. Town, no please. sign. Oh, okay, the party police are here. Excuse me? Hey, Calga selling some uh, nice cigars there, uh, Captain. No, I don't, I don't smoke them. Oh. I prefer a good, clean cigarette. Oh, I, I pictured you as a hoagie man, my friend. A what? A nice hoagie, you know, it's a big fat cigarette. Do you think a stogie? Is that what you're thinking of? I think so. That's what he's it's a stogie. <laughs> a hoagie. Bad Good. I don't, well, don't know what that uh, is. Close. I think you he's, I think I, I think he's trying to speak eventually. English. Yeah, it's not my first language. So, he's trying, uh, so that's, uh, I'll give him that. Props to trying. That's right. Points for trying. Have you, have you run in the bolt action now there, uh, Captain? Sure I am. You enjoying it? <laughs> Can't say. I haven't had to use it yet. Well, that's that's a good thing. You think about it. Fuck! Oh, jeez. Time for a bath. Now's oh, your chance. Time for a bath. Time for a bath. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Fucking Valentine. <laughs> I've noticed this.
bloody Valentine. Uh, when I heard uh, about what multiple people are saying, it's not just from that. It's, it's he, Bolt has been telling people himself, which is it's just not on. <laughs> the very bold from Mr. Gold, you know? Is that the train? Nah, it's uh, the, Johns, yes. the Johns brothers. Oh my, I want to get on the train. Sounds like Bye. one. <laughs> they don't uh, stop or announce it, yeah. so good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, no, the Jones Brothers stop if you're at the station. Uh, so I found out that um, there's, uh, they can announce but uh, to the towns when they, they arrive, but I don't uh, know if they uh, do this to Valentine because obviously they're aware of some of the crime that's been coming through here recently. Yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, I know. Right. And uh, they uh, haven't well, set horse, up uh, horse, horse, security, for the, uh, security for the, uh, the trains yet, you know? Yeah. Ah, but hey, if, hey, uh, hey, I, I don't plan on staying here long but uh well what we'll talk, 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 talk. Saint -Denis. what about it should we go there i'll say that you're yeah. here to collect the payments in relation to what we're doing yeah, now exactly. yeah <laughs> oh, I, sp I suppose we could go meet up with the uh hold on let me let me call ahead yeah well uh, we can call for the you if yeah, you want yeah 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 you, uh, you, you touch that phone we'll arrest you could, uh, just, can you let them know we that would Terrence never is high? do that yeah not but, letting um, back vocal sadly no, uh, I know. Yeah, can but you if you see a Richard Gray, accidents happen. It's crazy. Oh, right. Okay. So M E O W D Y. Meowdy. Meowdy. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Meow. No one picked uh, up. Uh. Oh, well, let's just head over there anyway and, uh, yeah. Take Dinger's hat. I haven't seen Dinger today. We just came from the east. Jack, you'll be uh, yeah, you'll be right if I take... Woodman will take a detour on the way back to Blackwater, pop into St. and he speaks to oh, some done. sheriffs. Oh, I've got to get a Caliga Hall anyway to get some cigars. There's some of those cigarellos. Right. Oh, by the way, Louisa says hi. We need to make our... Right up there and have a chat to him anyway about that incident that happened last night anyway. Apparently there was a bank or apparently what? there was a jailbreak. There was a jailbreak? Who broke out of jail? Uh, Don't tell me it was Dottie. Yeah, it was her. Uh, where the fuck is my horse? Oh dear. What are you doing with me? Getting on. Jailbreak? Yeah, so last night before I clocked off, I uh, I called up St. Denis just to, to, to say thanks for sending some people over. Yeah. To, uh, oh. For assisting us in the area. How did we get past this? Howdy. 
Hey, Adam. Uh, hello. That's Mr. George. Hi. Oh, you're familiar with Mr. Hughes? Yeah, yeah. Been in uh, Blackwater last night. Oh, yes. I would recommend taking a ride with Mr. Jones here, the fantastic train driver. What what stop is after Rhodes, though? Because he's going to Rhodes, and I don't know if I want to go beat Can we get a Rhodes. train to there? I could always take uh, a train. And then uh, we'll go to St. Denis after Rhodes. What could I do? Uh, we'll be eventually. Yep. Okay, should Ooh. we all just jump on the train? Well, I'll, come yeah. I'll come along, man, if you go to St. Denis. How much is it? How much is entry, sir? Yeah, um, train tickets normally five dollars. Uh, what's your, what's your favourite number? I'll ch I'll give you some cash. Uh, one one two zero. Oh. That should oh, cover no. everyone here. That should no. cover everyone here. Um, more than enough. But you All should right. have more than half of that pack. No, no, no. Take that money. You're doing your job. Oh, thank you the very much. Oh, yeah, is you there still issues with the, uh, the seats on a train, by the way? It does sit on seats. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, no. You'll um, yeah. fall into Have you taken a, a seat there yet, Captain? Captain George, have you, t have you been in here? Uh, I have not. I've ridden on the uh, the coal. Oh. Parking here would be the best spot. Best, uh... You ever been on a train before, ma'am? Oh. Uh, no. Well, no, I have not. Not Well, not one in the county, anyway. Oh, well, it's pretty good. We, uh... Cyrus and I were uh, able to have a, a trial run in Blackwater yesterday across the plains. You were telling me, and I was jealous. I, I really wanted to be on the train. Oh, it's a shame. You missed out. I did, but you know what? My ticket for this one was free, so. I just, uh, I couldn't spot you on the horizon. I was looking for a, an individual in a tuxedo. Couldn't see anyone nearby. Oh, is so that I just so? assumed you, you know went around. I should, I should charge you for this outfit. I spent $20 on this outfit. You didn't buy that I, for me. I that because I bought it as a joke. Why would you buy that as a joke? I bought it as a joke because you said I look masculine like a I, man in a tuxedo. I don't mean that you look masculine. I was just saying that the colors, the green at a distance looks black. And then with the little neck bit you had, looked like a tie against the yeah, white. Story. So from afar, from afar, it looks like a tuxedo out in, at, uh -huh. across a plane with peripheral vision. It looks like a tuxedo. Yep, you keep telling yourself I'm, that. I'm didn't, I did not imply that you look like a man. Well, you said it. The words left your mouth. You said, I thought you were a man. I, I was paraphrasing. I know. It's like the thing with the name. I'm still going to make fun of you for it. I didn't bloody mean it like that. <laughs> Where, where's the other lawman? They didn't get on this carriage? They're, 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 they're at the front. They've suggested the uh, Cyrus and I rode on the coal cart yesterday, which was quite a good view. So if you yeah, ask politely, I'm sure they'd let you up there as well. I wouldn't want to get covered in coal. Oh, come on. Go on, take, get your, you could get your I, joke dressed dirty. In my new outfit, I spent $20 in this outfit. You think I'm going to go and roll around in the coal? If it gets dirty, I'll pay for you to get a bath and same to me. 50 cents? Wow. I'm, I'm offering you the one that sounds like you can't afford a bath. I can afford a bath, all right? I made money today. I sold a bath pelt. Uh, Come on, then. I up you deliver. get. Getting a dress no, like I'm that. Not get, I'm not getting. It's dangerous. If, I'm not getting on If the a phone. lady's going to wear a dress like that, she should be seen not hiding away wow. in a carriage. Come on. I'm but trying to no, give you a compliment now. I'm taking the compliment. Getting up here. So I just checked my map in my pocket and I uh, couldn't find anywhere correlating to that uh, alert. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I came down to tell you guys to figure out where it was. Mm. Did you see that, Captain George? Say where no, I was there. telling the lady here that she looked very ladylike in a very fancy lady dress. Well, she does, she does. Are you two an item, George and uh, Madam? Nope. Okay, that was very quick and I apologize. <laughs> I understand you don't know what it is, but we'll try and uh, teach you, wouldn't we? Oh, no, 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 I know what it is, I'm just taking notes. Okay. Yeah, that's Wh outside. Woodman's already got a lady, didn't you know? 
Oh, Who's Dizzy? Lady. Whitman's got a lady named Louisa. Oh, oh. A hunting friend. Yeah, your hunting friend. All I get is constant harassment from Ivory and Dotty. So this oh. hunting friend is it a? Yeah, Ivory can try to mount my horse. It's back on a friend. Uh, we'll probably Holy jump shit. off here at Rose. I'm glad I wasn't done to carry this. What do you reckon, uh, Captain? So, didn't hear so well. Calico Hall. Yeah, because Rhodes is right next to Calico Hall. Might yeah, as well jump off at uh, Rhodes and oh, get yeah, a horse the down best, there. Uh, the best drink, sir, the TJ yeah. yeah, we'll be here in St. Dennis. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll float between the gun store and the law department. Yeah, we'll perfect. Be. Oh, I was going to say also go to uh, Dolly's Lollies, Sip Love, and Power there. Yeah, I'd love some Lollies from Dolly's Lollies. Good thing in Woodman. Yeah. Yeah, we need to have a chat. I visited Dolly earlier and she gave me a lot of free Lollies and we had a conversation. Oh, good on her. That's she, good. Uh, she gave me a lot of food and drink, actually. I'm going to be getting cavities, but I'm going to be fed oh, yeah. for a week. Yeah, when Marvin's not robbing me, he seems like a good guy. Yeah, except when he's shooting up folk. <laughs> I haven't personally seen him shoot up folk, just rob me. He didn't have a mask on. I was like, what are you doing, Marvin? Yeah, shut up Miss Firefly and Emma Grant yesterday. Jesus. So. Alright, we'll see you guys in Hold Saint up. Denis. They shut up Miss Firefly? Uh-huh. Yep. Oh my god. See you guys. See you there. Gotcha. Todd, did you get an invite to the uh the the the, the what do you the, the the festival dance? Uh I, I don't know if I wanna go abuse George. Pardon? Huh? No, you did should you take Louisa. Yeah, did you get an invite? Yeah, no, I didn't get an invite. Oh, well, no. I, do you want mine? Uh, no, not really. You, you don't want to take Louisa? What? You can't hunt a ball, George. You can hunt you can, snacks. You can dance together? You can't dance. You, I think you can dance. You can dance with Louisa. Yeah. The government gave me an invitation with a plus one, but I'd hate to make, oh, I'd hate to take someone and they fish. think we're an right item now. or something. I'm busy. Are oh, you busy? Yep. Why are you busy? I'm busy probably hunting. But you can't hunt at the ball. I won't be at the ball. There's snacks there, Woodman. There's probably, they've probably got prawns and, and, and. And, and who's bankrolling the ball? The governor? I don't know. Shame about this fog. Can't see the view. I didn't know where we are here. We're heading into St. Denny now. We're approaching from the uh, the back end of St. Denny. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just gonna We're going to head past the stables. God, you wouldn't want to be standing on those carriages come past in the low poles. Jesus. Well, you, usually you don't sit here, but... They, they, oh, yeah, no, I meant the carriages, like, still okay, but the carriages, like, there. Oh, do you reckon you can let up a little hole whenever you want? Aw, oh, I, I, I don't see why not. He's not even here. Gold! Why are Probably you here looking for gold? Gold ain't here unless it's gonna cause trouble. You should know no, that. No, no, I wanted to talk to Marvin about what's going on. Thank you for the ride, sir. Thank you. Uh, please and to the other department. Yeah. Yeah, if we got gold here as well, that'd be a bonus. Gosh, there's probably. Ah! Oh, now your horse works, does it? What, what do you mean? Woodman. Hey, what? where's my 50 cents, by the way? I need a bath. Oh, 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 you... oh, and the $20, by the way. <laughs> what $20? For the dress. I don't have them. Holy shit! Jesus! Just the 50 cents is fine. So, 
Sorry. Wow, five dollars. Yeah, oh, look, it don't. <laughs> Mighty kind of you don't go take tell anyone they might get the wrong idea. Well, no, you gave me 10, 10 baths swept. You think I'm that smelly? <laughs> now I'm more offended. Oh my, my god, damned if I do, damned if I don't. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, well, I gotta get, I'm gonna get to Lolly's shop anyway. Say hi. Oh, we'll probably be there in a minute. We've got yeah. work to do. Oh, yeah, so Miss Firefly, hang on, Miss Firefly got shot up? Did she? Is that, no, that's what y'all said. I've lost track, I just... Is she, is she alright? Do you know? I don't know, we'll yeah, find out from Gold when we finally speak to him. It's just a lot of, it's getting out of hand. We gotta... Huh. Never thought to go hunting yeah. food. I added the uh, Emerald Ranch into my, into my hunting route, but I hadn't been by in a day. Because I, you know, I was in a different direction now. I feel, I'm feeling quite terrible that she got hurt. Oh, it's not. You can't be around the. You know, they should have their own. They should have enough farm hands to keep an eye out. Yeah, I know, but regardless of what he does, she's an innocent. Huh? I, I don't know. What's this. Uh, Miss Miss Finch got shot at at the ranch. Yeah. Is this the is this the shop? Uh, yeah, but no one's home. All right. Hmm. Where should we check next, Todd? Uh, department, the bank, and the gun shop. All right. Oh damn, he's just zooming off. Uh, I better catch up to Todd, or else he's gonna run into trouble. That's all right. You don't need to keep me company on these streets. I'm, I'm tough. Um, I'm fearsome, you know. Stone Cold Killer. That's me. Well, right. Stay safe. Hold, hold on, hold still. Ah. How is there so many people in county but no one's around? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, no, no one's wait. in Blackwater. No one's really in Valentine. You know, no one's in being roads. No one's here. Imagine that what, but oh, hello. Oh, there's people here. Hello. Howdy. Uh, Thank you. Hello. Would you like a hello. cigar there, George? No, I, no, they don't, I don't like the smell. Well, the, my, doc, my doctor last week there. told me they're good for me. What could they oh. do that a cigarette can do? Open up the lungs. Oh, I'll just have two cigarettes instead. Yeah, that's fair enough. I have two. Actually, Mr. Hughes and Miss Lady, do you both have a moment? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Miss Tessa. Excuse hey. me, John. Excuse me, Miss Tessa. Huh? Do you want me to come or go? Oh, um, no, no. Jeb asked me next to step aside with him and Mr. Hughes. I'm sorry to pull you away from your man, Mr. Hughes. Um, yesterday evening we had a situation that involved Mr. Cal Wow. So I think she's. And Ivy? Sorry? And Ivy? No, no. It was him and two masked men. Mm -hmm. They actually came into the sheriff's office and shot me and another. Actually shot three of us. And uh, I did hear about this through Kenneth. I just happened to call after the fact. Jeb, I'm really sorry to hear that. You were one, no. uh, one of the three. Yeah, I'm on medical leave for a few days. But uh, I was hoping that after I'm back... And Miss Lady, I called you over just to make you aware of it. I, I could uh, set up a meeting with yourself to perhaps secure Mr. Care. Uh, feel like he really uh, he overstepped in this particular circumstance to the point where it, you know, going to make certain people feel unsafe in their own work environment. You know, wait, like wait. obviously we put ourselves on the line. By going out into the field, that's one thing. But we were just standing in the hallway having a chat. And to have that happen is. Oh. It's uh, disheartening to say the least. Mr. Kenneth made the remark that the men, when, uh, when they took him captive, they made remarks that once they go back to the West, they're untouchable. So that's why I wanted to talk to you about it. Oh, well. Look, I Kenneth gave me the heads up. 
And I, I kept a, a bit of a, a lookout last night just to see if I saw, spotted him coming back by boat or horse. No sign of him in Blackwater last night. But okay. uh, they are definitely in the back of my mind. Yeah, I was hoping to have a chat with the sheriff or, or anything like yeah. that to uh, organize something. But yeah, if you, if at any point dealing with this situation, at least Palmer, like, I, I, I don't want to put words in Mr. Bowman's mouth, but I imagine we'd definitely be open to a, you know, a joint operation. If yeah, it comes that's to that. what I feel like. Because uh, Mr. John Black and Daddy were also involved, so... You know, it's a big mess, but uh, I think, yeah, the uh, overarching feeling there is that... You know, oh, hello, Miss Tess. Liddy, can I just have a word with you? Sure. Uh, the overarching... I'm sure Miss Liddy won't mind me continuing. Uh, the overarching thing there is that uh, they are starting to feel Hi, like... George. Starting to feel like just the moment they cross the border that, you know... They no, that's thing. that's not on for them to you know live over there, but then come over here and do whatever they goddamn feel like. Yeah, that's and right. And just man. come back over there and play house. That's not exactly. That's not a. That's not good at all. Look, I you know definitely let's um I think arrange a meeting between mm -hmm. um Sheriff Lewis and Sheriff Bowman as yeah. soon as possible. Let's put all our heads together and let's figure yeah. out um. A plan with this like at the very you know if we have the opportunity to form an operation i think yeah. that would be a joint operation i think we do that at the yeah. very least if uh if circum if a situation arises where we apprehend these two individuals i think we'd be very open to uh delivering them over to you i'd appreciate that um, at the very least but yeah i'd i'd, I'd uh, definitely I'd love for you to have the opportunity to you know be the one to? holding the gun Bus? locking the cuffs yeah, well, to. if we can yeah I mean, I just, uh, I must have missed Mr. Hughes up. I got a little bit of a personal beef there because, you know, serving, protecting people is what I do. It's what I love to do. And mm -hmm. That's been taken away from me right now. I can't even ride a horse without accidentally falling off. Oh, that's the my worst. head's so messed up. A fellow without feeling like he's got any purpose is, a, is, Sorry, not, a, is not a good, no. is not a good way to be. No. So, anyway. That's, uh, I'll, uh, once I'm back on duty properly, I'll speak to Miss Letty and see what? if we can get in contact with No, I, I, think, I think Sheriff Bowman out. would love to hear more on that. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, good class, yeah, you bring it all up with, oh, yeah. with you, uh, with your sheriff so here. So how are you going, Miss, Miss Letty? Not too bad, not too bad at all. We're just getting ready to go on and do a couple things here in a moment. Yeah. How right. you all doing? Yeah, yeah. not good. Doing yeah. all right. I'm all right, Jack. I got a. I'm on medical leave for a few days. That's all good. My my face is a bit. Well, mainly my head. My, I sometimes think I keep my hat on to keep my head all together. But, oh, you know. jab. Is Miss Lily right. spoiling you? She has been. She watched over me while I was. I must admit that's probably why I'm a bit more personally invested in this one because she was watching me. But, I'm sorry to say, but Mr. Yuri almost had to call me. He said I almost died. So. Oh, oh, Jeb. And Miss Lily was right there, so I would have. Oh, yeah. If it had happened, I would have. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to feel much because I would have been dead. But you know, if I could, I would have felt horrible. Oh yeah. yeah. Anyway. No, it's. It... I don't want to sour everyone's evening. I'm sorry for. No, it's the main thing That's is that y'all are fine, and uh, we can come up with a game plan forward as a, as a collective. That's and, right. Uh, see to putting an I end think, to this. Uh, too many people are starting to see us as so separate that they can play us, you know, for fools. But they don't realize that at the end of the day, we're all sheriffs. You know what I mean? I do keep an eye on them, so. Mm hmm. That's right, and I'm sure when, when yeah, y'all can arrange a meeting between the two sheriffs, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement to, mm -hmm. to deal with this this incident, which is, because this is definitely something that's, you know, crossing borders. Mm -hmm. um, I think we can definitely all but put our heads together and get a hold of it. But I mean, if one of us too. Yeah, exactly. All right, Miss Liddy, let's uh, push on. We Sorry, to, gentlemen, we got something we need to do. No, so. no, thank you, for, thank you for letting Great us know. Great to see you. Great to yeah, see, see you. you both. Uh, alright. Let's go this way. 
Is that the governor down there? Yeah. Oh, everybody's around. Yeah. It's good to see everyone. Uh, where's Mr. Kenneth and Miss Tessa? Yeah, and we'll go through it, it all together good. and make sure that we all agree on it. Looking forward to it. The, the, the Texas Rangers I've spoken to, they love it. Um, I haven't actually spoken to uh, Chef Bowman yet, and because uh, he has other issues uh, to deal with, so uh, when he's in county, hopefully I can uh, show him the, that little ride up I've made. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be very happy with it. Just got to make sure that the big key thing, and I can't, and I've said it three times already, but I want to really stress it. It's a guideline, not a, not exactly. a it's not an SOP. Exactly. Uh, it's mainly for the new guys to look over. Mr. Hughes, would you so. like to cook that chicken before you eat it? Oh, yeah, those chickens tend to be a bit raw. You might get, uh, what's that, what, what do they call that? The bit of the... Salmonella. The salmonella? The salmonella? No, it's salmonella. Salmonella? Okay, that's it. Yeah, I pre-cooked it. Yeah. Is is good. You'd think that salmonella wouldn't be part of a chicken and more of a fish. Sounds like a drink. Mm. Ugh. Like a dirty salmonella? Well, anyway, like boys, you, you uh, boys oh. haven't seen the, uh... The East Sheriff? Ah, uh, she was inside. Ah, she's inside. Yeah, what the hell are they, they going about there, Georgie? Where they head off to? I don't know. I mean, you don't know. Oh, we can check. Let's well, check. Work for them, tell me. If they're not there, we'll, uh, we'll they, they've got business to attend to, is all, all I heard. Actually, what the heck are you doing there? What are you doing? Wait a minute. You well, boys are in the East. What's going on there? Uh, why haven't they put out a wanted poster for the job? We'll buy a cigars. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. Do you have a cigar? Uh, I think I have a cigar, yes. Uh, Give him two more. Um, I've, I've already got three left. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean, uh, we, 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 what, jailbreak? Who broke there out of jail? There was no jailbreak yesterday. Mr. Hughes was telling me that someone got broken out of jail, but I don't see any one. Mr. Hughes, I heard you uh, did a good job yesterday, and Mr. the Marshal let you go off and take a break. He sure did, sir. Uh, what would you end up getting to doing on your break? Scott went hunting. And With some Cynthia? Hunting. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, there's uh, Miss Cynthia. Oh, there, look, there's East Sheriff. She's oh. running off. Oh, 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 she's gone. They're gone. They must have gone hunting. Well, wait, I don't, I don't, I don't try to change subject. Huh? Look, no, look, sir, you want to know where the East Sheriff go, was, and I was just pointing out. I'm Miss Letty. I'll be back. I think she's gone around the corner. You were, you were hunt, the guy, hunting with. Oh, oh, yes, uh, Miss Cynthia Wheeler was in the vicinity. Yes, that's correct. She was assisting me in hunting. Uh soon to be doctor, yes. Damn shit. Well, that's a that's a good combo, uh, a sheriff and a doctor. Oh just friends, sir. Uh, yeah, just friends. Just friends that go hunting. Oh, I'd go hunting with Woodman. Don't get his hopes up. Huh? I'm not wanting to get no, his hopes up or anything. I'm just saying I'd go hunting with Woodman. Alright, we all gonna go hunting, Governor? Oh, yeah, we, well, he's going to have to take organize. off his white gloves. They can't get dirty. Don't say really about bad. hunting, Walter. Yeah, that's why he takes his gloves off when he <laughs> hunts, you know? Most dangerous game. Well, anyway, boys, just before I leave, is there, uh, how's everything Look. going in the West now that you've got uh, Blackwater uh, kind of uh, under wraps? That's, that's a lot quiet. Oh, that's good to hear. I was in the hole still, so... Well, that's thing. Regarding the West, the main yeah, issues, the, the, the main concerns oh, at the moment the is... Mind. Still is Oh, sorry. I'll, let me let me let you finish. Oh, we're done. <laughs> we're being done. Oh, that's okay. Can the captain speak now? Thanks, thanks, fellas. Um, appreciate it. You know, I'm really glad I worked hard to get this promotion. So, as I was saying, yeah. Anyway, governor, no, I'm really glad that it's so the situation at the moment. The main points of concern is uh, Mr. Gold talking about you know, having having us in his pocket. So we were just popping down here on a detour back to Blackwater. To see if we could get any information on that, then head back to Blackwater to keep making it safe. And the other thing was we're going to arrange a meeting between the two sheriffs to do a joint operation in handling people that live over in the west but have been coming over here shooting sheriffs in their in their lobby, busting people out of Cisco, this and that. So that, that's the current two prior prioritizations as far as well, I know. I was actually going to ask on that question because uh, from what you're saying, the person got busted out. Uh, this end, but they live in the west. Does that mean we put up the poster, or does the east put up the poster? 
Well, shit, boys, you can both help each other. Yeah, I put posters everywhere. Fuck, you gotta catch the person. That's why I was just speaking to Miss uh, Sheriff Letty. She, uh, we're gonna arrange a meeting between her and Bowman just to make sure we're, you know, mm, doing it right. We don't wanna go stepping on their toes. You know, they don't wanna be stepping on our toes. You know, just, you know, communication is key. Well, Captain, sounds like you got it all handled. Oh, I'm trying. Well, I'm happy. I'm glad to see what I've been saying and over the last two days. Shit. It's been like day and night. Oh, it's just all them hunting trips, sir. R refreshes the mind. Yeah, I, I, again, saying that, boys, do make sure you take breaks. I don't want to see you boys getting burnt up on the job, especially now that, you know, we have this martial law. Once it's all cleared up, and which is starting to sound like it, I might need to call it off soon. I didn't know let's go back and keep doing the bullshit. Yeah, well, do you know what we do? We just do it again. Okay. All right, boys. Uh, anything I can help you with before I head off? Can you do this crossword? All right, boys. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, what'd you say, Mr. Driving lessons. Okay. I've noticed that. Uh, <laughs> they kept wanting to go ahead with bullshit. I've noticed right. since that uh, the Blackwater um, little martial law there, there's been. Are they in? Oh, look who's there. Oh, just that's the person the, I want to see. That's just the person you want to see. All right, boys. Sorry, I, I, oh, thank you. Well, I, I need that. to go say hello. Like I need my eyes checked sometimes. So, what was the meeting with Jeb and, and about? Jeb was just giving me more information on the jailbreak that happened last night. Well, could they? Well, so you're saying what? Dottie got busted. Uh, uh, uh Ivy. Ivy. Uh, you got busted out of Siska by Cal Cal Caldern. Yeah. And he had some associates with him. And now these are all people that reside in the West. And uh, yeah. apparently they just came in and they shot three sheriffs in the face, uh, right here in the in the department. Um, well, why aren't we trying to bust like Caldern not over in the West at the moment? Well, here's here's the thing: is that um. You know, they've been threatening the East Sheriffs that they have no power in the West, so that they, they'll just come over here, do whatever they want, and then they'll just go home and expect to be okay. And, uh, you know, well, we've we acknowledged... Well, just be able to arrest them, right? Well, that's it. Jeb, Jeb and Sheriff Lewis, are just they, they would like to explore options where if we could do a joint operation between the two departments to get them all in one go, or, uh, you know, I also then suggested that, you know, if, if push comes to shove and we can't, you know, wait for that, that, um... If we could uh, bring, you know, if we have the uh, opportunity to do so, we take we take them over to the east, like we hand deliver them, hand them over. Oh, yeah, okay. Just so that Jeb well, and the others can get a bit of a. What about raiding their businesses? Cause that's pretty harsh crime they just did. Well, that that's another reason why I want to get a, a meeting set up between Sheriff Lewis and Sheriff Bowman, so that we can um, finalize, you know, collate all our reports and make sure we've done it by the book before we go knocking down, kicking down their doors. Because mm -hmm. you see, if we don't do this the right way, we're looking at a lot of paperwork. We're looking at potential, you know, court cases and you know, people in the street accusing us of just doing whatever we want. Like we got to make sure we're doing this by the well, book. Like they're doing what they wanted for. They walk in and shoot up the sheriff's department. Well, I think they're not law abiding citizens, so now we got to reel them in. Oh, was was I uh, was Kenneth here? I think so. I didn't get a oh, chance. Where is he? I gotta go pass that message on. Can you say hi for me? Mr. See you, Thanks Jeb. You take it easy. Thanks. I will. Thanks for the chat. All right, Bye, Jack. Y'all heading back to Blackwater now? Yeah. Jack? I was going to be thinking about some things. I guess. We heading back? I guess.
Also, fatigue before. Thank you for the, the bits. Sorry, it's just one thing after another. And I just, I'm trying to be careful not to interrupt the, the RPing. Just trying to make sure I'm in the, in the moment and, and trying to uh, contribute everything I can. Train again? Yep. Oh, yeah, the train. I do rub my horse for a minute, but it's fine. Do you ride this for a minute? Got something to do? Still there. No banks today yet. Oh, no, Todd, you just jinxed us. Whoops. Now, has there, has there been a report made, like an incident report detailing that Mr. Gold's talking about the law department the way he is? No, if it isn't off the books thing, this one. Would, would you be open to writing up for a report that's a, that, uh, that can go to Sheriff Bowman's desk? Well, we just can't really, we can't really go, oh, just man's been saying things about us. That's not a crime. No, I guess. You know, I, the way the marshal's talking, I think this is an after-books job. Just get a, get a please explain and uh, don't do it again off him, you know? Or, uh, you know, there'll be consequences. I just feel like we can be... I feel like it'd be worth having the sheriff talk to him face-to-face. -face. Well, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, you know, that's a good thing. You know, so the sheriff can say what's going on. Where is the sheriff? Never see him around. And our marshal either. I don't. I, I think our marshal's dead. Yeah, I, I've not seen him since day one of the the new borders opened. <laughs> the sheriff, he was around uh, uh, yesterday. I had a meeting. Oh yeah, no, I've seen Mr. Bowman occasionally, but uh, our marshal, yeah, haven't seen him since day one of the borders opened. <laughs> Wait, who was our who is our marshal? Uh, Walker, but you know, I've seen him once, and he walked around, and that was it. I can't remember. I can't even remember what they look. He looks well, like. I pretty much claim aims without uh, Marshall these days. Yeah, at least he's around every now and then. But then he seems to be the governor's handler, so I don't know. They got very cushy jobs. Stupid white gloves. Yeah, we should all turn up to next government meeting with white gloves on. Oh. But don't. But. Not say a word until he notices. <laughs> so we all stand there with our white gloves on. Why are you wearing white gloves now? I think that'd be a, 
I think that'd be a safer prank to do than walking a horse inside his office. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is true. What were you thinking riding a horse into the governor's office? I was just excited to be there getting off the train. Your horse didn't need to be there. Oh, he likes to feel included, though. How, how do you know that? Well, you can tell he's, he's happier when he's around people. Oh, really? Does the horse, he gives a bit of a grin, does he? Yeah. Does he tell you? Oh, no, horses can't speak, George. Oh, no, but they, they speak to us with uh, smiles and, you know, general positive vibes, do they? Do they? Yeah. Jesus Christ. God damn it, Woodman. I don't get it. A bakery? An armadillo? Like, really? Feels like it's too hot for a bakery. Yeah, would they even need an oven? Do they just leave it outside? I don't know, but what do they bake down there? Can I think grow down there? Is it wheat? I heard something about long donuts. Okay. Churros. Okay. Why I don't you... like this train track, by the way. You don't? No. Have you ridden on a train along it? No. Try that. It'll change your mind. Maybe. Is it that good then? It, amazing. Oh. No one seems to have the trains going on there. Well, yesterday a train came through here. Oh, okay. You picked a, the wrong day to take, take, take the day off, Todd. You missed everything. Well, you're ready if they are. Like I will deal with them if they are. The track is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, one, two, three, four. I don't know. This rope was everywhere, too, though. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, good man. Good man. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some... Howdy.
It's quiet. Too quiet. You see Tahu's disturbing report about mass men running between here and the stables recently. Oh, was there a mass man? M multiple. Yeah, Ooh. Mr. Mr. Tahu witnessed multiple mass men moving swiftly between here and the stables, and uh, oh. were quick to uh, then hide said masks once whatever they were moving was done. Yeah, right. Yes. So. Yeah, check it out. Another one of the latest incident reports from Mr. Tahu. Wondering what the hell are they doing here? Who's who's the who's the fellow that runs this place again? Oh shit. Um Marcus. I don't know his name. Marcus, yeah. Marcus. Right. And then you got John Black runs Blacksmith. The blacksmith. Correct. And his wife is Ivy I Ivy Ivory? Ivy or Ivory Black, yes. Yeah. Right. And you got Cowden who runs the horse stable. Oh, he runs the horse stable. Wait, doesn't he? does it? with Dottie. With, with Dottie, but and that's... Do, is it do, Dottie and yeah, Cow's yeah. horse? And, or and Cow's Alexi works under them. So it's all the big family here in uh, yeah. Blackwater? Mm. Well, that's the thing that Jeb was telling myself and Sheriff Lewis is mm. that one... The uh, Mr. and Mrs. Black were accompanying Caldern when he shot three East Sheriffs in the face in their department. I was talking to Jeb, and Jeb said he got shot in the face by uh, John Black himself. Yeah. Well, can we go arrest John Black then? If he's in his uh, office, uh, it's, we could detain him and hand him across. That would yeah, that would good. mean the world to Jeb. All right, we'll go have a look right, for him. Fuck it, let's go get him. Like, you know, we can't just have folks rock, rocking up on the show, shooting them in the face, you know? Nope. Hey, uh, Mr. Harkness, where did you know more, uh, jacket? Yeah, different jacket. Okay. Get these damn stores mixed up. Yeah. Howdy. Howdy. Is that you, Leroy? Sure is. Oops, what sorry. can I do for you? You seen Mr. Black today? No, I haven't. Or his wife? No, I have not. Oh, that's a shame. Do you, know, do you have any idea when they'll be back? No, I heard he went on holiday. Oh, how long? Roughly. I'm not sure, to be honest. He doesn't really say much. Shit. All right. Have you uh, spoken to Terence or anything? Oh, does he work here too? Yeah, he, well, he did. He will for now, but uh, there's going to be some changes made around here. Oh, really? Yeah. What are those changes, sir? Um, I'm the new manager and owner. New manager? Okay. Yeah. Interesting timing. Well, what's up? I'm just We just want to have a chat with the Blacks. They're a lovely oh. couple. We just want to know what, just, you know, how they met. You know what they do for their anniversary, all that kind of thing. Are they going oh, to the ball? I don't ball? know. We, me and uh, Mr. Black have this relationship where I don't ask and uh, he doesn't tell. Hmm. And do, so when they're so they've relinquished ownership to you. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's happened already. Did they say where they're heading, moving to? What's the next adventure for the fine couple? 
No, I have no idea. No, they're private. They like they like to keep their private life private. I respect yeah. that. This is not the first time I've been questioned about the Black Sour. Are they affiliated with someone or? No, we just want relationship advice, just to know what so, uh, what keeps a, a lovely couple together for so long. So, uh, oh, probably alcohol. Oh uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> they're always really fighting those two. Flat next station was it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, a little man there behind the desk. You go talk no. to him. You got any more questions for him, Sledge? No worries. I'll go have a look. Yep. This isn't anything to do with the martial law, is it? No, 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 no. I'll no, just. Want to, want to, you know, cross a few T's, dot a few I's, connect some dots. Just, just, yeah, need to, need to understand a few things. Yeah, okay. Am I in trouble or anything? No, 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 not at all. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no worries. Sorry, no, no, just. No, so you caught me at a bad time. I was just trying to get this ordered. Oh, sorry. No, we won't take up more of your time. No. No, no, you're good. You can ask away. No worries, Leroy. Thank you just, for your time. Wasn't expecting all this. No, you're right. Oh, you're do you have any questions or any, uh, you know? Todd, have you seen this before? You never before? know. You never know. Have you fellas you seen this? A tip stuff? line? Yeah. What's this? Say again, sir. Look, have you seen this before? A tip line? Yeah, uh, I have. Yeah, it's yeah, not I've the same thing. Seen, yeah, no one uses it, though. So people just leave us letters? Like, anonymously? They're supposed to. I didn't even. Shit, we need to tell everyone to be using this. You know, I wouldn't say they're getting abuse instead. Oh, let them waste their time. Is there, any, is there anyone besides the blacks I should be looking out for? No, 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 no. Just, just, yeah, just, yeah. If you see or learn anything about the lovely couple, you let us know. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll do. We'll do. No worries, Leroy. This, no, you're not in any trouble or anything. We just, we just want to, we just need to learn some things because there's just a lot of confusion around. Yeah, yeah. You're telling me. All right. <laughs> you're right. It's all right. You do want to disturb you through. I know how busy you are. Yeah, no, Todd, get, oh, get the. For fun. Oh, wow, you can go in here too. Look oh. at this, George. I don't want to see this. Okay, sorry, Leroy. Oh wow. Sorry, Leroy. No, you're good, you're good. I just wanted to make sure, because every now and then we get some, uh, someone coming in shooting the TNT under my desk. Oh, yeah, I heard that the other day. I scared the shit out Hello, of me. Hello, my fellow gangsters. Yeah, yeah, that one was accidental, though. That was... Uh... You hear that, Jack? Uh, the lovely Mr. and Mrs. Black just happened to uh, recently relinquish ownership of the business to Mr. Leroy. So it seems maybe. Well, that's the thing. I, I would expect that Mr. Caldern and uh, saying hello back. Dottie probably staying clear of civilized society. Then maybe they're. Oh, Mr. Roscoe doesn't do that. Pals. Maybe they're all looking to move somewhere else. <laughs> Probably infect strawberry. The yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's going good. Yeah. What's that? Who just there? Everyone's safe. Hmm? So, told it before. So, yeah, it's really good. Oh, thank you. Is this a gift? I guess I do get thirsty out here, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, no, that sounds great. Alright, you have a good one. Yeah. What are people questioning? Oh, that's not my horse. Why am I doing it? Hey, do we uh, want to search old mate's uh, what wagon? What the fuck? Over I can't access there? my wagon. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it looks like he's having issues with his wagon, I guess. <laughs> you don't say. Why is he. What is he wearing? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that should be a thing, right? Uh, 
Wait, is that is that natural what he's wearing? Is he a, is he is it is is Christmas coming up? Yeah, it's not. Does he have any idea on it? Oh, no. You wanna go ask him, Wolfman? Oh, you want me to go ask him? You guys haven't yeah. ID checked him yet? Not recently. I think Ames did earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah, he ran by Ames and I. Grab one by now. He's been told to get one a couple of times. So did anybody uh, mark down that they're available uh, Sunday night for Bowman's operation? What operation is that one? It's a secret. Oh, yeah, I think I did. What should I wear? Oh, he uh, he said that uh, more information about it will come closer to closer to the time and date. Okay. Hey, if there's a bank for over here while martial law is happening, do we just open fire? Sorry, what? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I suppose if we're getting shot at, or they're threatening to blow up the town or something, I suppose, mm. let, yeah, let her rip. Alright. Wonder what? Why is that man glowing? Uh, he's got some weird, uh, weird bags that uh, he puts those, uh, you know, those glow worms in, mm. and it uh, creates a glow. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he has a tendency to have long arms on his back. So anyway, just so we're all on the same page, yeah, Jeb, Jeb, and Sheriff Lewis would like to organize a meeting with Sheriff Bowman as soon as possible so that a joint operation between the two departments can hopefully be enacted to ascertain, to, uh, to attain, um, to capture uh, Caldern, Ivy, and then uh, additionally, if possible, their accomplices, Mr. and Mrs. Black. Um, How long has Ames been dating the governor for? Todd, Todd, I'm trying to tell you about the... Sorry. The sorry, sheriff's mate. Turned up. So I'm gonna write up. Did I literally just trip up that step? I did. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna write up a report day. about that Jesus and get it to. Christ, I can't take a day anywhere. Oh my God. Uh, now, gentlemen, just before I go onto the grass to take a knee, uh, guess who uh, the East Department just uh, round, well rounded up briefly. Briefly. Who was that? Mr. Gray. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's around. He seems like he's keeping himself to himself in the out in the Saint Denis, but uh, hey, he uh, ended up he well, he slipped away. But uh, what? He's around. How, how did he so, slip away? He's uh, a little slippery one. That one apparently. And yeah. saying that, um, so boys, I've uh, I've I've uh, burnt up the last bit of his documentation after uh uh uh. Sorry, who it was? It was a uh, who, who, who fired him? Uh, Harkness. Harkness. Yeah, well, after Harkness fired him, I've, I've just finished up burning up the papers of his employment, so he's no longer access to anything. And uh, that's good. I don't know what you boys have set up already, but based off of my little interaction with him, I would say I want that boy done for impersonation. So, well, good boys, one. go. If you find that boy, you do him for impersonation. Oh, he's also I been agree. stealing. He stole uh, guns off Alexis. Yeah, he room. robbed someone. Yeah, well, shit, boys. It looks like you got more more charges to slap on that boy. Yeah, Lou was telling me he was trying to rob him. Like, not rob him, but try to try to hog time. Would you care if we put multiple robbery charges on him there, Mr. Governor? Well, you do what you need to do, boys. But if, okay. the, if, he's, if he's done multiple brings wrong, you slap him on. All right, I'm so two, two robberies and an impersonation. All right. 
It's a pity there's not um there's no charge for crossing into someone else's jurisdiction and trying to be a smear's dick. Well, it's disgusting. I think there should just be one for trying to swing your dick around. Oh <laughs> yeah, you are charged. Well, we do, for... we do technically. It's called public <laughs> indecency. Well, there you go. He's public. He's being public indecent. Well, there you go. Something with that one. Why not? <laughs> well, alright, boys. I'm about to go do some documentation. I'll let yeah, you fun. take care of it from here. Okay. You boys don't, have fun. Don't get any ink on the gloves. I'll try not to. Ah, uh, gentlemen, you need me for anything? Uh, yes. Generally, you follow that up with saying what you need me for. <laughs> All right. Uh, can, can we, like, have you as our marshal since our marshal seems to have died? Well, I am assisting him while he's, uh... Uh, did anyone just... Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah. That, that'll be dealt with. Uh, okay. yes. No, he, uh, I'm helping out while, you know, um... Uh, I'll be helping you uh, yourselves out a bit more because I think I'm a bit. He's asked me to help because he's uh, having quite a few things in New York. So. Ah, yeah. It's well, we, we, we sort of see you as a marshal anyway these days, James, too. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'll help him out. But uh, if you need anything, let me know. I'm just here for an advisory role, mostly. Do you all see that? Gabe's away from his bench. Gabe's in the <laughs> West. To oh, away from his bench. Oh, well, I'll probably go talk to him. Maybe he heard that there was a. Marshalling needed. Even then. Yeah, no, uh, no, that's, yeah, not an issue. I'm, I'm around, so yeah, if you have any issues and stuff, you can talk to me, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, all right, I'm going to go talk to Mr. Uh, Mr. Bench. Oh, you gentlemen have fun. You too. Holy shit, I didn't know your bench came all the way out here, Gabe. Very <laughs> <laughs> bench. Uh, well. Shall we so, do a lap of the town, fellas? Just want to clarify something. Um, I've had three guys while I've been patrolling around who've given a similar description of someone who's trying to rob people but um, failing miserably. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, so the last one that reported it, um, others have reported to him and to other people, um, but John Dusty reported it. Um, so attempted robbery, obviously. Um Originally, it started at Flatneck Station. Uh -huh. um, so he was originally selling goods um, and he tried to get away. Um, he was shot once. Luckily, it was a graze. Um, it's a very nondescript uh, description, if you will, of the uh, character. But he uh, was wearing a brown hat, similar to mine. Uh, he had a short beard. Um, and he was wearing all brown, and there was some black clothing. I'm assuming he meant, like, vest and all that. Um, and he was riding a black horse. I, I kept, yeah, I kept pressing for further information, but obviously um, he kept saying he was new in county, so he couldn't give any description on, you know, distinguishing features or horse type or anything like that. But, um, yeah. Well, so this is a horse type. I can never figure it out. Yeah, this is the third time um, I've heard it whilst being here. Was he robbing from the same place or different places? Um, so it's all hearsay, like, you know what I mean? Like Chinese whispers, if you will. Um, but D Dusty, John Dusty, was the last one to actually give me some proper information. Um, the rest were like, it was some guy, and I was like, okay, well, that's not much. Do we know how long ago uh, that this happened? Hey, guys. John Dusty uh, was mm. about approximately 20 minutes ago. Okay. Do you just want to um, take a step over there while I have this conversation, please? Oh, sorry. I just wanted sorry. to see if anyone's oh, okay? handcuffed. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, handcuffed. Just, nah, yeah, I'll leave uh, now. Yeah, all good. All good. Thank you. Oh, sorry. But just wanted to let you all know why you're all gathered anyway. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's interesting. Okay. It's a but why you guys have long arms? Do you mind? Because uh, we're allowed to have a law. Can you please take this into a different area? We're trying what to have happened? a conversation here. What happened? Do you need to be here? Okay. I was just driving past. Okay. Have a good what? day. What? Oh, night? Is it night time? Yeah, it's night time. Night time. Okay. I was just came to say hello. How do you head, actually? How do you get those little uh, the, the glow worms? How'd you catch them? I stole it from elves. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Well, you yeah, have a good day. Okay. See you guys. Stay safe. Bye. Oh, hello, beautiful. Howdy. Howdy, guys. Howdy. Yeah. I don't know if it's Santa or it's shell bunny. I think it's the, the uh, Richard Gray guy. Yeah, it's the whole uh, fucking tree. <laughs> to possibly charge him. Sounds good to me. 
It's like the only reason I came over here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I keep hearing civilians bloody telling me about him. Robbing yeah. people, apparently. Yeah, yeah he's terrible. Yeah, Lou told us about the uh, situation he had in St. Denis with him trying to uh, search someone, demand a search for someone inside this pen. Shell b -b 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 B. Which is disgusting. I can do that. Uh, in general. Definitely. I've got a. Uh, I had a telegram from Mr. Marcus, and I went down and uh, spoke to Miles, but there was a Gideon Ravencrest that was supposed to come over here, but uh, Letty's hired him on over in the east. That's oh, fine, okay. that's fine. So, I oh, know I'm going to, because his application says that he should be over here. Um, so I'm going to go grab him if he's still around mm -hmm. and tell Letty if he isn't. Oh, they, they have plenty over there, there, so if he wants to come over here, it's fine. Yeah, it's just. Don't you believe, yeah. captains, that uh, we do need the numbers right now? Yeah, we need to put his app in for this side, that's what it should be, shouldn't we? Yeah, well, that's where the application went. Okay. Oh, yeah. if you find him, we'll be around still. Yeah, all good. So I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um, oh, also, uh, mm -hmm. Marshall gave there. Um, I did bring up my little uh, guideline that you and I uh, worked on together. Yeah. And uh, he's all for it, and he's going to hand it out to all jurisdictions and um, men of law and see if they can vote here yes or no for it. All right, fantastic. Sounds so good to me. Sounds good to uh, me. Also, did you hear that Walter Gold owns all of us now? Yes, he uh, he supposedly pays us. Right. And it's innocent. All right. I'm glad he uh, owns you guys. Well, looking forward to his paycheck, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Uh, you might, you might be able to bump up your pays there a bit then. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I will try and find Mr. Richard tonight. Yeah, hopefully he's still floating around somewhere. He will be. But, but I'll uh, I'll also let the East know to make sure as well. He's a bit we'll sneaky, him. that fella. Yeah, we'll grab him for impersonation. And, and robbery as well. Yeah, and robbery. Yeah. Fuck, there she is. Who's that? Dolly. Oh, wait. Dolly or Dottie? Where's Dotty? Dotty, over there on the dock. Is, is yeah, she the one that broke out? Mademoiselle? Uh, so is that her? We'll talk her from a distance. Uh, possibly. That's a tell. We just change clothes every day. Hello? Yeah. Which you should, you should, everyone should know you change clothes daily, okay? Hygiene. Uh, <laughs> Maybe she's taking a boat. Possibly might be in that boat. Ah, that's alright, we can't deal with it then. Ah, uh, Captain, sir. Yep. If I ever speak too far, you know what I mean? Just just put me in my place, please. That's if I get a chance to speak. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I speak a bit out of rank, if you understand what I'm saying. Well, it's fine, it's just... I don't want to upset uh, anyone in champion. It's not about upsetting anyone, it's just making sure that the information is filtered efficiently. Uh, definitely, sir. Like, we weren't appointed captains just for the fun of it. 100%. We've put in our work, and I'm sure if you put in your work and show your respect to the high ranks too, you could be a captain one day as well. Definitely. Yeah, I think it's mainly because when I work with Harkness, it's very, uh... Boat, someone's knocked him in the water. We work very closely together, so it's become hey? a habit. Which it Dog, could take the boat, someone's knocked him in the water all the way out this time. Oh, no. Wait, where? Oh, did you try and get the boat then, Harkness? Boat man's been knocked in the water. Oh. Isn't there what happened to the it? lady that was up there then? Uh, she's still there. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Hello, this is Captain George Hughes speaking. Hello, George. Um, I need a sheriff. Oh, Howdy, uh, who may I ask is calling? Help, I need a sheriff at the uh, St. Denis candy store. 
Oh, well, yeah, I'm afraid you've reached the West Law Department. You want to be called... I, I need somebody serious because the prices down here are criminal. Marvin? Marvin. Is that you, Marvin? Oh, my. That's fucking it. You know what? You, did you hear that? Can't, see, can't hear anything, sir. Oh, so they didn't lock the doors. That. Didn't well, get a name. Me, sir. Didn't get a fucking name, but I'm asking for law lawmen to come straight to St. Denis in emergency because these the prices are so low at the candy store. Uh, willing to bet. To head to, uh, willing to bet that was. Denis, then, sir. What do you reckon? Willing to bet that was fucking Marvin. Might have to have a word with Marvin, don't you think, sir? Right. Yeah. I think. Yeah. If y'all want to go. Yeah, we'll head off. Go on. Oh God, like see if you can see if you can link up with really. any East Department first, just to, to yep. make sure we don't seem like we're stepping on their whole damn foot. But if they're not if around, see, uh, deal with it, and then we'll uh, we'll issue them a letter to clear them up what's happened. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand. I see Letty or Tess or anyone. I'll uh, let them know. Ain't fucking having that. Then prank calling us from across the goddamn country about lolly oh, prices when we when we think they could be interrupting us trying to deal with the problem here fucking y'all right. get, yeah, get yeah, over there right now the rogues are in god, the cell god in the yeah. damn Shut lexi what do you want you know the rogues long house the door doesn't lock oh, so okay. anybody right. can use the phone in there in rhodes um da oh yeah what okay while you are over there Tell yep. them to fix their goddamn doors at Rhodes. Yep, I'll tell them to get a car right. hunter to fix their doors. What's going on? Uh, so I don't think uh, Woodman, do you want to come with me? Yeah, no, where are we Woodman? going? I'm a 40. Uh, we'll go over to uh, St. Denise, yeah. find some uh, shit. Walk and talk, take it out of eavesdrop. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah, okay. fucking deal with, with them, fuck. Bastards. Coming, Cusey? No, I got paperwork to do. Y'all got this. <laughs> let your eye. <laughs> let off your eye in the Aww. end to get their attention. The fuck's going on here? Don't George. kill anybody. I'm yeah. Alright. Just, now... just, just before we get carried away, Jack, um, Sledge and Woodman have gone to deal with that prank caller in St. Denis oh, okay. and hopefully good. talk to East Sheriffs before they get too carried away. That's fair. Fucking Marvin right. just prank called us. Oh, really? Well, Is... they call us about low prices at a fucking candy store in St. Denis. So I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing another candy store. Jeez. God damn it. Alright, make sure you're all whispering. Yeah, I am. Alright, um, now... I'm shout whispering. Is... No, I definitely do not be shouting this. So, is anybody around, like a marshal around? Oh, that was. Alright, well... Ames and Esther are around. Ames is around. I've spoken to Esther. Yeah, I've been down... Oh, Governor... Uh, Go oh, no. You, Governor's too high up. Never mind. Disregard. We can show him if you want. So, I've uh, been down at uh, Tumbleweed. And I found a little spot, which I've been looking at a few things, right? Uh-huh. Let's just call them sticks. Now, what? I decided to grow what was on these sticks, and I found some naughty things. Now, I want you to have a look at them, pass them around, and chuck them into your evidence. Okay. Okay. I'll pass it to Mr. Hughes, and Mr. Hughes can uh, pass oh, it Oh, if on. you want, you hand me a i got a report to write. Okay, okay. Harkness, what's your... Uh... Not that I don't uh, want to help. I just... I, I'm, I'm going to write a report 58. about the whole uh, uh, Siska incident, Jack. Oh, good. Just to get to Bowman's desk. All right, you see what oh. that is, Harkness? But, now, it, uh, but if you want, feel free to talk about it while I write. It's, it's armadillo. It's drug. God, I hope that wasn't luring them into a trap at the candy store, hey. Imagine if they've just lured them into a trap. <laughs> they just like, oh yeah, come look at all these low prices yeah. over here. And it's like they get there and look people with guns. No, you're right. Sorry. I've got a bad fucking up. feeling. I've got a bad feeling I've just sent two deputies to a trap. Oh yeah, uh, 82. 
Oh, da, oh, dear. Oh, oh, da, 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 dear. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Um, yep. This damn place. Yeah, okay. All right, hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang ah. on, hang on. Get this damn door down. Yeah, these doors have been uh, playing up. I think the hinges are a little rusty. Let me out of here. Back. Get the fuck out, sir. Oh, you shut up. Get the fuck off. Bastard. You fucking smelly bastard. Um... How do you put up with these current bastards next door? Yeah, yeah, never mind. Writing up a report about the situation so Bowman can be brought bastards. up to speed. <laughs> do, 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. Banana boat. Um... What the hell is Calder's last name? Wait, what did I do, Shelby? What did I do? I can't remember what I said. Huh? I'm writing a report. I'm, f I'm fucking busy. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, camera. And zoom out. Um... Oh. Jack, you want to get this one? Oh. Jack, you want to get this one? Clock on the door, give me a minute. No problem. Here we go. Yo. Yep. Hey, I, woman. I think I did too, shall we? I'm fucking nervous. Uh, talking to Marvin while I made a prank call. Uh, St. Denise, I think. Okay, might have been his lolly shop. Uh, I think he had problems on the boat. 
yeah. So he might be there now. I'll talk to you soon. See you back here soon. See ya. Bye. Um... God, I forget a lot of words. Um... Me think... Me smart. Me fail English? That's impossible. <laughs> Apprehend. That's the word I'm looking for. Apprehend or apprehension. Oh my god. That's true, Scrut. That's very true. I... I will literally... I will... I can literally get a screenshot and in the split second I saw this group of pixels. It looked like... It looked like... An individual wearing a, a, a tuxedo with a top hat walking across the plains. <laughs> Which was far away and on the in the in the side of my vision. <laughs> it was a split second then. But then but then upon further in, closer inspection, determined that this was not the case. But Alas, it was, it was the original prediction. <laughs> Fucking hell, poor George. Poor George! Uh, that report should be fine. Uh, 
Uh huh. Okay, that report should be ample information for Sheriff Bowman to get the ball rolling. <laughs> George didn't read Shell Bunny as a man in the tux. It was some rando's idea for me to tell George it was his fault. I had to get in here. Oh my! Rando, you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. The drama is very funny. Twenty dollars. Well, I got sixteen dollars on me right now. <laughs> buying it. Buying a new. A new feminine dress does not help, does not help, like, buying a new nice dress to not appear as a man to George Hughes does not help the local gossip ring. <laughs> <laughs> Why, that almost sounds like Miss Wheel is trying to, uh, get job Mr. Hughes' attention. <laughs> <laughs> drama, drama, drama. Sorry, Jack. Hey, okay. Sheriff, are you still in there? Oh, it's not important. I just wanted to talk. Hello? Who's there? Who's there at the door? Can you hear me, partner? Hey, Leroy. Oh, they're out there next door talking oh, to hey. each other. All right, Jack, I've made a report oh, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, okay. that will hopefully bring Sheriff Bowman up to speed so that hopefully, oh, hopefully hopefully, he can arrange a meeting with Sheriff Lewis and we can come up with an agreement or a plan. But That's a good idea. At the very it least, you know, does. if we come across these people that were involved with those issues over there, we can still deal with them. It's, it's, just, it's just, if we can, it would be nice to let the East Department have a bit of a yeah, it would be. bit of fun with them. That uh, would be a good idea, that. Just, you know, because, yeah, if we had people that we were really hunting over there, we'd, you know, it'd be nice if they returned, did the same thing yeah, for us. Yeah, would be. So, hopefully there's some just strength oh, in hopefully. the relationship. Howdy. With the departments. How are you doing today, Cyrus? Yeah, I'm doing good. You? Yeah. You seem to be have a real uh, level-headed, you know, handling lots of foot patrols by yourself and everything. It's really good to see. Is it? hope we haven't left you, you know, up shit creek without a paddle. No, I feel like I've got both paddles. Uh, I've been making uh, a lot of friends and connections in the uh, town. Yes, so, that's good. Yeah, and uh, they've all been really polite. Obviously, martial law helps, but uh, <laughs> yeah, they've been removing their uh, rifles and showing me IDs and surrendering to searches. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I, I imagine, you know, the martial law helps to an extent, but the way you, you carry yourself and you talk to people is a... Uh, you know, you definitely give yourself some credit, Cyrus. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, I made a new friend, uh, Billy. He's really polite after he removed his rifle off his back. Um, he was annoyed with his bloody donkey, but that's it. <laughs> he's, oh, it's, it's, uh, don't forget, it's a, yeah. it's a, horse, yeah, a horse called <laughs> Donkey. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. tell him otherwise. <laughs> exactly right. Now, also, you know, it's great that you've been, uh, you know, going around and going on patrols and whatnot, but don't, don't, definitely feel feel free to chase us up and uh, come with us when we head out up to you know Strawberry Valentine. We had to pop over to Saint Denis briefly just to you know touch base with some of the East sheriffs about something that happened recently and come back. Mm -hmm. So definitely feel free. You're always welcome to tag along with some of the groups. Sometimes we just we get uh, lost and can't keep track of everybody. No, hundred percent. And I've uh, definitely uh, gone on rides with quite a few rides with um, Harkness. And and hates slades sledge oh, yeah. sledge that's right sledge sorry oh good to hear good 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 excellent i think if i mr richard tonight oh i'm i'm so disappointed in that boy yeah. i haven't even met him and i'm disappointed <laughs> you should be so i talked that's, to marcus yeah. mark said he was okay so when he was training him I just, yeah, he I, seems like a really good judge of character too. 
I don't understand how it happened. It just doesn't seem real. I don't doesn't, understand. But we'll get him. We'll find him. He's not too bright. No, <laughs> no. I the interactions I've had with him were painful. Um, trying to explain. You know, I'm telling him. You know, he's like, "How do I apply for the Lord of no, You got to apply. I didn't have much. Not in country. You know, with the telegram system. He's like, "What? Am I, I partner? I can't be any more specific." Uh, please, I need you to meet me halfway, partner. He just, it was, uh, it's like pulling teeth. Hmm, yeah. Oh, well. All right. Well, I got a little bit left, a little bit of time left where I can be around, so I might okay. do a, do a lap. Oh, okay. Walking around. Uh, we'll stay safe. Oh, thank you, partners. But yeah, I, I will have to uh, retire for, to bed soon. But, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's been great seeing everybody. I'll be, no, I'll be back. Oh, good. Crow, what movie did you watch today? Oh, it's raining. Bloody raining. Hold up, do the detour here. Interesting. Why did they suddenly take a detour? Oh, they're gone. Mm, who's that? Who was that? Chicken! Yum, yum, yum. I love chicken. I love liver. Meow mix, meow mix. Please deliver. Some jingles, they just, they, they never escape you. I still remember, this. It's, it's like a cat food. It's like a cat food ad. From like, I swear my mate would always sing it back in high school. I still remember. I've, I don't even have a cat. And when I did have a cat, I don't think I ever bought it meow mix. Who the fuck are they? It's the 13th of the day. Okay. Keep forgetting the damn day. It's, how is it? How is it already the 13th of June? What the fuck? What the fuck? Time is. It's. I. I. I don't understand. I feel like sometimes it. Like, in the moment, it just feels so slow. But then, a lot of the time, I feel like I blinked. And I jumped from... Like, shit, man. It just... Even, like, I remember... Like, just... Like, I'm 34 now. Just the leap from... Like, I just feel like... Well, I, I guess it, it doesn't help that COVID was in there. But, yeah, it feels like I was, like, late 20s, blinked, and now I'm... Now I'm closer to mid thirties than early thirties. Now, like, when did that happen, man? Oh, I'm disappointed with tax time now because there's no longer that. I don't know how it works, but the, for the longest time, ever since I had my first job out of school, we had the um, you know, ge the general rule of thumb was well, this is when I was working, you know, McDonald's, Telstra, all those little jobs. Um, the general rule of thumb was whatever was whatever you had on your tax form, you'd get around about half back. Um, it was like, sweet. 
cool. You know, get that, chuck that in the savings, or do something fun with it. But now, I think last year, it's now in effect where uh, that's not the case at all. I don't think I got anything back last time. Or like very little. Or I had to pay like a little bit or something. It's... It sucks, man. I... I I used to always be like, yay, tax time. And now it's like, it's just pointless. It feels pointless. I hate it. Still in your 20s. Oh, enjoy what's left of it while you can. I, my late 20s just, just vanished. Just straight up was just time. Time just ate it up. And then, literally, and then, and then, and then the, the year I'm meant to turn 30 was COVID. So I, had, I spent my birthday by myself. Um, and it wasn't until the next year that I was actually able to have like a cake with, um, with my parents and that to actually, you know, be like, look, you're now 30. It was really depressing. Fucking COVID, man. Being in lockdown. All of 2020 in Brisbane. Insanity. I still can't believe that was actually a thing. Pax is your 30th birthday. What a great weekend for it to be on. Yo, Taylor. It's... Like, I remember it, but it doesn't... It seems like a weird dream. Like, it was... It was so weird. Here's a bit of story time. So... So with, um, so a cool thing I do in the ANZ, you know, gaming event space is since 20, I think 2017 or 2018, I work, I work for a, um, I work for a talent agency that supplies staff for events for client, for gaming clients and stuff like that at events and to do activations and stuff. Um... So I've I've just been a I've just been you know, as a as someone that's done a media and theater degree, someone that's done a lot of customer service and tech support and everything else I've done and you know trivia hosting and whatnot and being a gamer, I I've been really good at it. So finally in 2020, um, we had less team leaders available in Queensland. So I hit up my supervisors and I was like, look, if you would like someone to step up and fill that gap, I would be more than willing to have a go and prove myself. And they're like, you know, yeah, you've been a great addition to the overall te Australian team. Um, let's do it. So I went, I did the training. I had the trial sessions and everything. And um, and then I was, it was set up. All right, Corbin, here's your first um, job with us as the, you are the team leader. And leading up to this, I had uh, experience. I was in charge of um, there was one job where we were sent up north, up to Townsville and Cairns, and I was in charge of um, uh, picking up the hire car and driving the hire car over the course of two weeks between um, in those locations. So they were right, you know, yep, he's reliable. Um, literally. So the first job I get as team leader, you know, I'm checking in the team to the hotel, getting everyone to the convention in time. Um... Yeah, I'm doing all the stuff after after each shift. I'm doing the debrief on the phone. I'm, I'm, you know, making sure everything's good. Suddenly, we get the news. COVID outbreak. We, we, there was already, like, you know, rumors of it and, you know, bits and pieces. And then suddenly, it was like, no, nope, lockdown is happening. They're like, no, nope, the convention's being shut down halfway through. Sorry, everyone's got to go home. And it sounds like quarantine is happening. Completely, completely destroyed my first team lead job with this with the company um it was absolute bullshit absolute bullshit um and then yeah then quarantine happened but then what was really messed up was all of my friends um their work was put on hold and they all just had to be they all had to be getting on centrelink and stuff from home and just and just trying to occupy their time however they could um at home but because i've been with because i was i'm with that agency i went from you know i was really trying to find full-time work at the time 
um, you know, I was doing trivia hosting and... Oh. Hello? Hi, George. How are you? Kenneth, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know how, that was... Do you know how fucking scared I was just then? <laughs> not, a, not a fucking word. Just roll up and pull a shotgun on me. God damn it, Kenneth. I'm sorry, George. I had to. I saw you all alone. I thought, why would they leave him alone? Is this because I didn't say hello in St. Denis before? It is, yeah. I'm sorry. I was having a very important conversation with Sh Sheriff Lewis and Jeb. I'm very, I'm very yeah, no, sorry. You're right. No, you're fine. I, I thought I'd pop in and say hi this way. So. Oh, appreciate it. Good to see you, partner. Yeah, likewise. We're just we're about to boat back to Saint Denis, so. Oh, you been all right down uh, this way? <laughs> yeah, we just um we just did an evidence run, so. Oh, love to hear it. That, that went yeah. all right. It did. It went the smoothest I've ever experienced. So <laughs> <laughs> always a bonus, eh? I'm hoping uh, this looks like we might be doing one of our own soon, and uh, mm. yeah, we're hoping that everything will be. Right as rain. Yeah, hopefully. Look, if you ever need people, you, you feel free to give us a call, of course. Otherwise, if those rangers are around, they tend to help out. So, I think we're going to organise. We'll meet them halfway or something, and move and head on down together. So, yeah, not a not a bad idea. That'll be good. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it went well. All right, George. I got to run up to them because they're waiting for me. But um, no problem. I'm good sure to I'll see you, Ken. You Likewise, mate. Have a good one. You too. So yeah, long, long story short, because um, I was working for this agency, I managed to secure, they managed to get for a, a, a group of us, full-time work from home for the duration of COVID. So I felt so fucking guilty that a lot of my friends were without work for a year, but I just magically got this work from home job where I was literally getting paid to um, help organize like gaming events, um, I was like the producer behind the scenes of like a talk show on Friday nights, getting the, the businesses here on business occasions. So you know, yeah, no worries. Let me, let me just uh, deal with this gentleman quickly. You're right. Um, you're right. I'll be out here. Sorry, I do. Mr. Gold. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, no, I have the four ore on me at the moment. Oh, I'll, go get the, moment, I'll go get the antlers. Uh, got the yeah, got right. the misses over you, here. Uh, is your bank local? Wonder if you could uh, we um, could have a chat in the oh, department real Valentine. quick. Yeah, absolutely. Is it right if uh, right if the, yeah, the lady comes right, along? I'll, uh, sure. I'll just do the thing no, right. and go. Are you gonna be around? Oh, the door there, sheriff. Mr. Gold. Oh, Gold <laughs> finger. I know things down here are a bit sketchy with the, you know, uh, martial law, so I'm not quite sure. Do you want me to take the guns nut. off at all? There's a fine. Yeah, there's a phone. You had the full 180 it's during really it, nice. Shelly. Shall, shall be. Sorry. Sh shall be. All right. Let's, uh, let's grab a seat. If, oh. <laughs> we all just pointing to give us a sec. It's, yeah, it's a little tricky, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Who knew it would be so hard to use a, a, a chair? Oh, it's, it's the simplest thing sometimes. <laughs> all right. Look, really glad, I'm because I'm about to turn in for the night. It's been... No, no, hey, been look, I heard day. whispers that you want to talk to me, and I'm, I have to comply. Look, Mr. Gold, I'll get... I'll try and cut to the chase as best I can. I'm hearing some... Look, I've heard a lot, and uh, you know, a lot of th things have involved us, you know, being a little bit concerned about, you know, the two of you is up, up there, and uh, wanted to help out. And, uh, you know, as we'd like to help everyone within the West jurisdiction. As as oh, yeah. as lawman, the concerning thing now is that we're starting to get wind that you're telling everybody that we're on your payroll. Do I look rich enough to pay off a sheriff? Would I dare pay off a sheriff? First of all, let me I, ask you that question. I I don't know. I I have no idea. I'm not a businessman. I have no like I've I had enough trouble buying these guns. I I don't know how often people buy guns. I don't I don't know. I don't want to know. It's just that's that's what we're hearing. Um, that's, that's fair enough. So I just so you, it sounds like this is a surprise to you. Uh, a little bit, yeah. What do you mean a little bit? Well, I've heard fucking people spread rumors about me before, but uh, I mean this one's a pretty pretty serious one. So so 
you're willing to, you know, like let's say I whipped out a Bible right here, right now. You'd be willing to swear that you, you know, I, I'd be willing to place which one, left hand or right, which oh, one you want. No, I'd say one over my heart. Both to be sure. Okay, that's fine. All right, so you 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 come and now, Miss Mrs. Fin, Miss Finch. Yes. These are these are these are. This is a surprise to your ears as well. Yes, this is actually the first time that I'm hearing of this. Okay. Well, look, like, it's just, we, we've been talking a lot in the department. We've we've been speaking to marshals. You know, we've spoken to the sheriff. We we even spoke to the governor, and, you know, everyone was feeling a bit, you know, what, what's this? We've been, you know, because a couple of us were shacked up in Valentine, ready to, ready to, you know, keep an eye out on your store, and we're, then we're hearing this. We're thinking, what the hell have we done to deserve this kind of, you know, we've been trying to help. Well, I, I've had nothing but admiration for y'all helping us out. And, I mean, we've been getting harassed quite a lot recently. Uh, I'm sorry to speak for you as well, honey, but, I mean, we've we both been getting harassed, and I appreciate your help, you know. And I mean, shit, if you were in the same position, and, and if I was a sheriff and you were a business owner, I'd do the same thing to protect you, you know. No, I'm, so I'm pretty, I, I and, don't know. And then what doesn't make sense to me is that, you know, I hear about you've got this, you know, lawman deal you know for a discount on a gun and the sheriff special yeah the sheriff shit. special that's right to help you out i mean yeah, why absolutely. would he why would he be putting himself out there to do something nice for us like that but then slandering us like that and then not expecting it to get back to us it, it's ridiculous so i wanted i was really hoping that we could have this conversation that we are now that was good before it's good. things I like, escalated I like having a conversation um, about these things it shows maturity so you're feeling that this that. is this is people spreading rumors I mean, look, I, I don't know what people... Here's the thing. I think they're perceiving y'all protecting just another business as something, and they're getting, I don't know, ideas in their fucking head or whatever it is. But, I mean, shit, I'd do the same for you. And, you know, it's the same when, I mean, Harkness a couple of days ago was in a spot of trouble, and I was shot at by the man, and I, I helped him. You know, I, I jumped in to help him, put my own life on the line. and As I think anyone you know, in America should do. You know, you help, exactly. you help your fellow man if they're in trouble. Well, that's it, because sometimes they, they do need help, and y'all need help, and you're not always in packs of, packs of four or five years, especially over here in the West. I mean, shit, you need all the help you can get. Well, that's what we live in a society. We live in a society, God that's damn it. it. We're help, trying to help each other, not bring each other down. Amen. It's just, I can't believe it's all right. Well, look, I'll put in a word to the sheriff and everybody that we've had this chat, and now, would I, would I be a... Uh, would it be foolish of me to uh, to assume that these rumors may be coming from a certain candy store in Saint Denis? <laughs> I'm glad you brought it up, not me, because otherwise <laughs> it seemed biased. But I mean, shit, that there is actually something we've been meaning to tell you is about. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did talk to uh, I think Woodman and Harkness on it, but I mean, they they keep coming up the harass, especially Miss Finch here. You know. I mean, she's my little bird. I want to protect her, and, and she's just getting harassed all the time by these, these, these fucking vagrants. Is all I can describe them as. Ah, oh, that, that's just not. That's just not on. And and harassing another business and everything. That's just not on. And, and I don't it's not just harassing what... another business. But if they got an issue with me, take it up with me. Sit down, have a have a mature conversation. Yes. And we work it out, right? That's how that's how man should be. You don't target someone's partner just because just because they're upset at you. You know, imagine imagine they went up to your lovely lady and went, you know, I'm going to go shoot you and try and take you for the rides, you know, against your will. You, you'd be distraught, wouldn't you, Sheriff? Oh, I now, mean, you'd be absolutely look, fucking distraught. Now, look, now, Miss Will and I are just good friends. Well, I mean, still, even then, imagine if someone took her in front of you, right, tied you up. And forced you to watch, watch, you know, as they hurt the the person you care about, whether it be friend or more, you know, it's it's fucking just it's, it's destroying my heart. No, oh, it really it, is. When 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 literally you can sit down and have a conversation first before resolving. Absolutely, these you don't like, need to come to all this. Again, we live in a civilized society. Like we're not animals. I like to think we do. It's, and then it's not like we're choosing. Well, we're just going to help. The, the gun store up in Valentine because they give us a discount. It's like, no, well. if we were learning that the stable down here or blacksmith Absolutely. or, or I don't know, a carpentry business so, somewhere having trouble and we had no, you know, no reason to believe that they're malicious, we'd be you wanting want to, to help them too. citizens of the West, don't you? 
It's it'd be for everybody, especially when we got the numbers around. It's not. It's just we've been hearing a lot about that, so that's just where the attention has been. Now, this brings me to the next point: is uh, we're also hearing that people may be lining up outside a candy store down in Saint Denis. Okay. Now, I don't know what to make of it because. Well, so, I I want to I want to confess something to you then. I okay, want to be open sure. with you. All right. Uh, a couple of days ago, <laughs> we went down there, okay, because there's a lot of businesses that were getting harassed. A lot mm -hmm. of miners were getting attacked. And and we had found that a lot of people were pointing in the same direction. All right? Oh, hell. Go down there with no hostile intent, okay? We never even reached for a weapon. Never once. Mm -hmm. not, not one single time. And I can... I mean, if they ain't fucking corrupt as sin, I, I would hope so that the fucking East Sheriff's and even that, uh, what's his name now, Mr. Esther, would, would back me up and saying that we didn't touch our weaponry, right? Now, we just wanted to go down there and say, hey, look, we've had enough of your shit. Please stop it <laughs> or we'll get the fucking law involved and we're going to we're gonna turn you in, right? That's what it was meant to be. It was meant to be, hey, we're upset. There's a lot of people here. And there was a lot of them were just... Just ordinary individual uh, civilians with no, no ties to any business or anything. They'd just been harassed and robbed oh. all the time. And we were just upset with them, okay? It was a spur-of-the-moment thing. We meant no no ill of it. And all of a sudden, you know, uh, indiscriminately, all these people getting killed because people can't take words. They, they just oh. they resort to violence, you know what I mean? I could, you, to go down for a conversation, they can't even do that. I can't even fucking do so. That's why I'm upset. All right, I'm really upset I because you. I just want to have conversations. I want to be able to say, "Hey, look, you got a disagreement? Take it up with me. You you think I've wronged you? Well, okay, what have I done? You know, not not all this cloak and dagger and and God, it breaks my heart just just seeing <laughs> Miss Firefly here tormented at the ranch over oh. over nothing. I mean, she she you, she never done nothing." You know, I mean, how can someone be upset with a ranch owner? That that that, that just it confuses me. Farmers right? are the backbone ranch of Oz and a lot of countries. Absolutely, good. absolutely. Right, and cool. we couldn't What's survive your, without them growing there? their crops and raising their cattle for for food and nutrient value. You know, That's right? Leave I them mean, out of it. Exactly, exactly. And and even then, I think the reason they targeting her is because of me, and that's just wrong. I mean, even if let's say someone was an outlaw, I'd, I'd suspect they'd have some sort of code, surely, that would say, you know, you don't involve the partners of people just because you want to you want to hurt the the other person. I, that's just uh, I'm I'm confounded in my words. I just cannot express how upset that makes me feel. No, it, it upsets me as well, and and the thought of you know. Up at the up at the ranch, like let's say some cattle or something got caught in the crossfire. That, by golly, that breaks my heart. It's just, yeah, too many innocents being brought involved. That's it. So that brings me to probably I, I hope my third and last question is: Where did all this start? Where did all this? What did you did you do anything or, or what happened? What made you know, them what, feel you know this way they, towards you? You know what happened? All right, from my perspective, and I take this with a what well, they say they take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. All right. As I hope you do with everything, you always investigate both sides. But from my perspective, uh, they were coming over to the ranch already, and they were stealing crops. I mean, Miss Firefly can attest to it. They were ripping up crops. They were stealing they were, crops. Yeah, they were taking for their own without paying for it. I mean, that's theft, ain't it? That were they have these were these reported to the law? It, they were. They were reported to Harkness and Woodman, and and look, I don't. I, I trust them. I I've been good friends with them now for the last couple of weeks, uh, you know. Uh, but but I don't know. Just nothing. I don't know what can be done about it. It's hard you know? because we send patrols up there as best we can, but it is quite the ride between there and Blackwater, and we're struggling to get enough solid lawmen on our side. So that we could be spread That's out across the jurisdiction. We're, we are we are trying. I, I swear to you, we are trying to cover all bases. Listen, I, I got no ill will against him personally. Uh, you know, I think they they're good people. They just done wrong. I think they could be saved. You know, maybe maybe if they just had to talk to him and just say, "Hey, look, just 
you know, stop stealing the crops and, you know, I mean, shit, that's, that's, that's Miss Firefly's livelihood. And again, I'm sorry, do interject if you want, dear. I, I'm sorry for speaking for the both of us, but I'm just so passionate, <laughs> you know, uh, they're stealing the crops. You know, that's her livelihood gone. You know, the only way she makes money is by selling her, her produce, right? You know, we, we're just civilians. We don't, we not, I mean, I hate to allege, but I don't know how they're making so much money, you know, with the lolly shop, but they seem to be having a lot of, a lot of high-end weaponry all the time, and I mean, shit, they made some purchases from me for hundreds of dollars without batting an eye, so I can't do that even myself. I mean, shit, I own the fucking gun store, and I gotta pay the, the parts, and I'm struggling some days, you know? Well, it's, just, what makes it know, hard is that wrong. they are outside our jurisdiction as their it shop is. resides it's in St. Denis. So we are trying to find times to send people over when it's quiet to go and have a chat. We're trying to... Uh, to collaborate with the East Department to try and get across all of this because it's become it's, it's becoming a you know a, a, it's crossing the border it's it's it is. it's back and forth y'all are playing tennis uh, across the borders and it's we we need to be de-escalating this situation before it gets before someone gets killed well here's the thing okay I would love to de-escalate I'm gonna be honest with you I, I'd love nothing more than to go back and just spend time with Firefly without looking over our shoulders, right? Because, you know, obviously it means a lot to me as a business owner. Sometimes it's stressful. We just want to, you know, be able to go out and do some hunting or something. Mm. And, I mean, especially in the last, when was the last, honey? Uh, yesterday, day before, there was what looked like a, a bunch of goons turning up to the to the ranch looking for both of us. And you could just tell they had the, their guns out. They had the masks up. I mean, we had to ride right away before we got snatched on up. We we put out a report to it. You know, I went over to the train station, came back, and and, and, and sent out the word for help. And I got even got one of them and Eastern shares in my eyes. You know what I mean? But they never turned up. No one, no no help came. Oh. We were on our own. We were scared. You know, we had to run for the hills, and 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 that in turn that eats up into business and. We yeah. can't go ahead and make money. So if we can't make money, we can't give money back to the government to pay off our businesses. And <laughs> if we can't do that, we can't pay out to our investors. And I mean, shit, even some of the sheriffs are invested in. I feel sorry because my business is hurting right now. I mean, shit, I'm getting robbed. You know? Shit. I'm really, so I'm really sorry got to fucking hear. Robbed. He, he quit the job. Who's your apprentice? Minister Creed. <laughs> fucking who? Now, I don't know what he does outside, but... <laughs> But but this Minister Creed, he was a good fellow, at least to me. I, I don't know what he done. I don't know what he does outside of Valentine. It's not not my concern. But he was a good man. Minister and they came Creed. in looking for me and instead robbed him for all his weaponry. Oh God damn! They, they took they took one of his best rifles and he and his best pistol, and they just took off with it. All come right. come half hour later, a different group came in and did the same fucking thing. I feel like every time I. I try to learn more about this. I just learn more and more than I expected. So I'm thinking, what if we? Because I'm I'm trying to uh, trying to get some joint operations underway between the departments. Get the two sheriffs sitting down together, try and address these issues that are affecting the entire country. What if we? What if I? If I might float this idea to him. What if we arrange to sit down, yourself, at the very least, yourself, with Mister Rowe, in a in a neutral area public space i'd love to the believe that he would try and hash i'd love to believe that he'd go through with that i really, I really would. would i really would and i'd be willing to try but be it's not to try. me you gotta convince well we'd be happy to try and have that conversation with him i've heard you know i've heard from you now that you'd be willing to give it a go we see what he says we could arrange a time a, a date and a place and we can see how it goes because we really need to we need to put put a pin in this but I'm thinking that might be the best thing we can do. We're gonna go. We're gonna try and talk to him soon, anyway. But I'd like to see the two of you in a room together, get a real, you know, trying to hash this out. And then if these things continue after, well, then we're gonna have to, well, take it even further. But so that's that's where I'm thinking we'll leave that. But before before we wrap this all up, Miss Miss Finch, I'm sorry that we've been talking so much. Is there anything you'd like to add? That's right. You can tell me everything. Oh, pardon? 
I'm afraid I can't hear you, ma'am. Miss Firefly, you you open your lips, but you're not saying much. Is this better? There, there we go. go. Sorry, I had something in my throat. I just want to say that um, <laughs> I want to thank you for your help. You've uh, We really appreciate it. Um, and for your concern as well. Um, I do have a question. If they were to agree to meeting up, would I be able to attend? Not necessarily be a, a part of it, but just attend? I think so. I think I would happy be happy to, uh, you know, extend that that you can you could uh, attend as well as uh, as well as uh, is, is it Mrs. Rowe? Or is it just uh, I, I believe so. Dolly. Yes. Yeah, Dolly. Yeah. I I I'm, I I have so much trouble keeping up with who's married and who's not. But we would have to extend the invitation to her as well, if that. Okay. Yep. Um, I'll, I'd be happy for that. I just, uh, yeah. I would, I would like a stipulation though that, that there should be no weapons at all. You know. And oh, just lawman of, carrying on with the protection of half the fucking sheriff's department because I guarantee. I mean, I feel, I feel fear for my life and and for Miss Finch here personally. Uh, and we would I, look know, to have against yourself, but we, we'd, I'd, I'd like to have it. You know, representatives from both west and east jurisdictions yeah, there to uh, you know mediate the, the the situation and we can talk it out so i'm going to propose that to sheriff bowman here uh we have that as an additional topic at a meeting between the two sheriffs and we'll try and arrange a time and a place hopefully over the next few days um just in the meantime please the two of you stay safe if you're ever heading out hunting or anything please let people know in advance when and where you're going just so they could be aware in case you you know something happens so, and then yeah. that word can come to us. We can come find now, it. Now, in the meantime, okay. Mm -hmm. okay now, now my memory's shaky on it. Uh, real, real shaky. But what, what day was this, Miss, uh, Miss Firefly, that we had? Uh, Suppose I was taken. I, look, I ran I randomly woke up here in Blackwater of all places. So I, my memory's foggy. But but uh, from, from what Miss Firefly had told me, I mean they the other day they came into the, into the property to take us both and. I don't know if I fought back or I don't know. I let Miss Firefly say, but but what what's going to stop them in the meantime is my real question. Coming back and and harassing us over and over again. I mean, we're just two civilians, you know, and I can't always be there to protect her because I, I got my own business, you know. Even though what's we've got the, that, even though we've got the martial law happening down here in Blackwater, things are looking a lot more positive down here. So we are able to send more patrols up north. Out Valentine Way. I will try to make an effort to be reminding deputies to be heading out there more often um, during the martial law, so we're not just abandoning the rest of the rest of the area. Um, of course, yeah. But but then but then this does unfortunately this does depend on numbers per day. Um, I would just be I would keep firearms within reach and uh, you know try and be with someone at all times if possible but remember you know give people a warning if you give them a couple of verbal warnings they're not leaving your property you, you have right to you have right to open fire yeah, i'm just okay. i'm just afraid what's gonna happen i mean oh, i hate to get a bit teary-eyed but uh, I, I wish i had a i wish i had a better quicker solution I for mean, you it's just we we just I mean, need look, the numbers it's just, i just it just brings me back to you know, riding into the to the ranch and seeing Miss Firefly on the ground there with Yuri over top trying to you know, save a life. And, you know, blood blood all over the I floor. I know. It, it's, you know. Look, I, I can't say for sure that I am well up to date with all the reports we've, we've had come in. It's just the more reports we can get when these incidents happen, the more we can put together a case. Because it's, as lawmen... Sometimes it is really hard for us to to take action against things we have not personally seen. There's a lot of writing reports and getting enough evidence and getting enough reports of the same thing to be able to actually get permission to enact things. It's because otherwise, otherwise you could get out of control and we could just do whatever we want, and and that's mm -hmm. and that's not what the government wants. It's, everything's trying to be fair but i see there's holes in this where we, we can't respond quickly to incidents like this so i do i 
my heart goes out to the two of you with this, and I really hope we can come to a solution soon. Well, as always, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put my trust in the law, <laughs> and you know I want to stay on the right side. And I know. But I mean, look, if things keep going, you know, there's only so much a man can take before. I understand. I it's I, drastic. I understand. No, it, I re I reckon we'll leave it at there for now, and I'm going to get a report written up to the sh to the sheriff. I appreciate it, Mister. I'm, I'm going to get that Thank done. You. I'm going to get that done now before I before I go and rest my head. All right. I, and hopefully, you know, even if I'm not around, I hope that uh, you know Captain Harkness and the sheriff can uh, make this happen. But. Uh, I'm going to aim to be around over the next uh, few nights as mo much as I can to try and keep this underway. All right. Thank you. Appreciate Thank that. You. Oh, I wish I could do more, but eh, it's early days. All right. It's all right. No worries. Thank you. All right. Don't want to keep you anymore. Time is money. And I need to get off the chair. We'll get the door for you. Thank you, Cam. All right, ladies first. Thank you, ma'am. Just a moment, honey. Thank you. Thank you, mister. Right now, you want to say thank you. No, thank you, you for taking the time. No, you're very welcome. Y'all, y'all enjoy the rest of your day, all right? And you stay safe, and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, news for you sooner rather than later, all right? No worries. You rest well. Thank you. That's me. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I heard whispers that y'all looking for me down in Blackwater. Mr. Mister Dusty said so, so I head down here to see if I can find what he is. Found myself with right. Mr. George Hughes. It's all right, Ty. We've had a very productive meeting. I'm going to get another report to the sheriff ASAP. Well, did you speak to him about the other thing? Siska? No, how about, you know, he, he owns us. I did. No, these I don't own you. These well, seem to be I rumors don't. being spread by people that are not friends with Mr. Gold. I, I don't okay. own you, woman. I want you to know right now. You know, you mean a lot to me. You know, we we almost like brothers sometimes, and I, I ain't never gonna do that to you. For what it's so, worth. So where do rumors start then? But also at the same time, I'm about to pass out. If if anyone had a drink, that I'd be much obliged. I just noticed that. My apologies. Thank God you. damn, I gave it to the wrong person. No, you gave it to me. It's fine. Try right, pass it on. Me. Thank you. Sorry right. about. Sorry about that. No, you know, these I, things just I, happen. I can't say for sure exactly where I heard these rumors, but. Oh for fuck! Where is that? What? You all right, Todd? What happened? You just got a report. I think I'm getting a premonition. Uh oh. I get out your way anyway. I just know, Mr. Woodman, Todd. I I ain't, I ain't gonna do that to you. I don't owe Five you. Five poachers on your property. No. Oh fuck. Oh Let's go. shit. That's gonna be them. Are you coming? Oh, how do I fucking know this would happen? I shit fuck. Hey, I'll ride with you. What's going on? How you doing, friend? I'm not, not, not a whole lot, to be All honest. Right. Wait, wait, Bye, Mr. Kid. Bye, Mr. Kid. See you later. Get some trouble laying around. All right, let's go. Jesus Christ. I don't, we're not, I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're gonna make it. But if we don't at least try, like at least trying will will give some reassurance to Golden Firefly. Ride like the wind! Oh Looper, if we get him. I can't believe this. They're poaching while we're down here having a meeting with them. Fucking disgusting. Why are they doing this to us, honey? Oh, man. Yeah, Bunda, it's literally... Why are they doing this to us? 
chatting to the, the farm owner here, Miss Firefly, about issues, and then we literally get a report about poachers at the farm. And we got a ride all the way from Blackwater. Fuck. Fucking rough. Oh, over the bridge. Oh, oh sh are you okay? <laughs> we'll be alright. I think women went over the bridge. Like, if I do all that talk, and I'm like, Oh, there's a poaching report? Ah, oh, no, nah, I gotta stay here and write a letter, eh? Like, that won't look good, so it's like, Gotta at least make the effort to go. I really do hope you catch them in action. Oh. I wish we had a personal train run about now to get there quick. Yeah. This is what they do, though. They wait. They, they learn where we is, and then all of a sudden they strike right when we don't expect it. God damn it. Come on, horse. Come on. Poor horse is running out of breath. You're right. We're, we're used to running away from danger, as you can see. All that horse are real <laughs> trained up. <laughs> the woodman must have gone across the bridge. God. Uh, uh, Miss Rain was over at the at the ranch as well as Dusty. I hope they're okay. Oh shit. We should never have gone to Blackwater. We should have never abandoned it. We should have just... Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. Oh, but our friends are going to get fucking home. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, he does. Todd. Black shirt. Holy shit, George, you get yourself wound up there. Yeah, I um <laughs> what they look like. Uh pink mask, I believe you've seen them before. They said that you had an issue with them last oh, time they were here. Fuck. Who was it? You know who it is, woman. 
All right. Yep. We're going for a triple to St. Denis, George. Oh, fuck. Yeah, all right. Okay, then, we'll, then we'll get the boat back from there back to Blackwater. Yeah, God it damn it. Well, I'm going to hold down the fort here, fellas. So they come Ooh. back. No, uh, you you protect what's yours. Uh, we'll it, deal yes, with this. If, if they Thank you. Wait, what? The fuck? Law department. Gonna need a word with you, son. What's up, sir? Got no suspicious reports around here just now. You mind if I check your pockets real quick? Got reason yes, to believe. Yes, yes, sir. All right. Bad time. Just uh, give me one second. Yes, sir. I shouldn't have anything on me, sir. Todd, are the handcuffs currently working? Uh, they should be. What's happening? I'm at the edge of the property, Sheriff. Don't mind what? me. What am I being taken? I just, uh, uh, to search you, I need to cuff you, but I can't oh, I seem okay. to use my cuffs right now. Now look, sir, I'd rather not do this. You, you mind if I just quickly uh, hog tie you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, right. I'm terribly sorry about this. Uh, might want to take him off the track there, Sheriff, just in case you get run over. Yes. There, there was good. trains before. <laughs> How's your glass day going? Sorry. Sorry about this uh, again, partner. I would say I want to speak to a lawyer, but I didn't have a lawyer. No, nah, it's oh, look. I'm having I'm having more troubles. Look, let me just I tell you. I don't have anything on me, sir. I'm not me. not saying you did it, but it's. I don't think it's very very American to be dealing to, to be dealing drugs at a farm where people are just trying to work. That's all I'm yeah. gonna say. Yeah. You just say you have a good day now. Do you have anything on him, George? Uh, my eyes ain't working properly. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, goddamn it! All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Sorry about. Sorry about that. That's right. That's right. Well, I mean, this is at the edge of the property right here, uh, is according to the government issued map. So we can't do nothing past this line here. Come on, Todd. Let's go. All right. Yeah, yeah. If they come back, though, I, listen, I give, them, I give them three seconds to get off the property. If they, if they don't stop moving. Zero seconds. Hear that, Walt? All right. Yeah, you, go. you go get them now. Go. You go get them bastards. This is getting real tricky with these incidents that are happening across the border. Yep, that's why, you know, we, we pretty much go drag Malvin across our side. Fuck. Can you still hear me back there? Uh, Josh? Look, you be ready to, you be ready to hog time. Just let me, just let me pose an idea to him first, okay? Uh, okay. I know, I know there's been a lot of bullshit going on, but I'm just trying well, you to... you want to do like a, try and do a mediation? I, what I, what I proposed to Golden that in Blackwater before was the idea of having a law mediated meeting between Mr. and Mrs. Rowe and Mr. Golden, his partner, and talk this out. At least attempt. Uh, yeah. At least say we tried. Yeah. And then that's really the last chance for all this nonsense. Okay. Do I just want to see, see how he reacts to that question? Uh, yeah, okay. But if shit goes south, I'll back your decision. All right, and what would you... But that's definitely not us, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Lucky yeah. us. <laughs> I know, right? That's been to happen all night. <laughs> Ansberg, I forgot that place existed. Yeah, same. Jesus Christ. This is, what's this, the second or third time we've come to St. Denis today? Yeah. 
this is getting lucky we got telephones. I think we're gonna be calling each other at each department a lot more with this sort of thing keeps happening. Well, this is the thing, like, we've got a war between two sides of the jurisdiction, like... That's right. It's not like we're wanting to go in and, and you know, act like we know better than the east side. It's just we got... We got some pretty... Like, we've got a solid amount of records in case that we know who this is, don't we? Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah, I don't think... I think it. I think it's reasonable for us to at least go and attempt to have a conversation. in there intimidating that not on the east side damn okay. it jeff's department anybody home we'll see if they're in the back room oh good god damn it are you allowed back there we don't have a search warrant todd oh, i'll just pop my head in the back door there okay all right they're not here well, look. Uh, should we ask the East Seeds if they've seen them? Yeah, yeah, just as a courtesy so they know we've been through town. The Easties. Hello? No, East East must be. Oh, they would have gone to the Robert Ennisburg. Shit, yeah, they would have. Well, shit, nah, it's good of us. It was good of you to suggest, Woodman. I mean, it's good of us to at least try. Like, that would have meant a lot to Mr. Gold and Miss Firefly as well. What? What's really what that? Well, look, I just had like, I what felt like a half hour meeting with them about saying how much we want to help them. If, if we hadn't, a re you know, literally dropped everything and ridden out to Emerald Ranch, we probably would have looked like, like we were talking shit, so. Yeah. Oh, well, let's get the boat back. Yeah. Because, yeah, I got to, I got to, I'm going to write a report about this, trying to, I'm going to get word to Bowman about all this. Mm -hmm. And see if we can uh, organize a, a sit down. Well, yeah. Because this is, this is getting ridiculous. I'm sick of hearing this. Every second day I'm hearing about some goddamn candy store hitting a, a ranch and then people from a gun store going down to a candy oh, store. This is that over there? Uh, hello? Jeb? Jeb? Jeb, you okay? Yo, jerk. Yeah, uh, Diablo RP. He must be... He must be thinking about some the tough times he's endured lately. Oh. Yep. Uh, hello? Come on. We Oh, I was just saying hi. We spent enough time here as you. Let's get to the boat. Hello. For fuck's sake. Rip. 
My horse, my horse shoes just gave out. Good uh, time and good thing we're about to get on a boat. Yep. How much is the boat again? Twenty-five. Do you have ten dollars spare? Oh. I've got sixteen dollars on me. Yeah. I'll pay you back. You know I'm good for it. I ain't buying Miss Cynthia a new wardrobe at the moment. I did not ask her to buy that dress. Okay. I... Why does everything I say get taken spun way out of context? God damn it. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I feel like Sheriff should have some sort of discount for this boat, to be honest. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, I guess, maybe. You know, we only use it in case of emergencies or to save time. I know, just, it just sucks spending... I, it's twice I've used the boat tonight now for different things. Funnily enough, both involving Marvin. Yeah, but we really shouldn't be coming out over here all that often, either. Yeah, well, I, well, I came across the boat the first time to investigate the prank caller. You, you could have just rolled over. No one told you to get in the boat. Oh, yeah, sometimes you can get over here quicker. Yeah, but yeah, it's not expected. Do you know who was on the phone? Well, they said that, uh... They said, well, I, I'm assuming Marvin, because they said, you know, they saying, we need a lawman in, in St. Denis. And I'm like, where, why? Because the, the prices are so low at this candy store. So, Oh, my God, that is so Mr. Marvin. Well, is. yeah, well, who else runs a goddamn candy store? Yeah. Like, I'm, it's the logical choice. Yeah, Who's no. prank calling us from somewhere? So that, and then what, their buddy... Poaching up at the farm, supposedly. Yeah. God, this is disgusting. Where the hell's this boat? Uh, down here somewhere. Really? This is the one that goes to Blackwater? Uh huh. Really down here? Yeah. And like the afterthought dock? Yeah. Ugh, let's get on with it. Coming to some money, I'll be here. What? If you got some money, I'll be here. What? What did he say? You got some money, friend? Rolling on the river. Born on the bayou. <laughs> Is that Todd ahead floating? My God, he's become too powerful. Todd, did you see another fellow arrive on by boat just now? 
Uh, no, just I just did a boat mission. Just that, oh, that's right. My friend should be here somewhere. Well, thanks anyway. No okay, I'm going to write. I'm going to write an incident report, letting the uh -huh. sheriff know that. Would like to have a sit down between these two groups, mediated by the law, as soon as humanly possible. Okay. And then I'm going that, to bed. That... Yeah, okay. I should. Thank you, Woodman. You have a good night, all right? Yeah, you uh, probably like. that running over there. Uh, 10 15. <gasps> there, revolver barrels. <laughs> I've been trying to get. Oh, the door wasn't even locked. Yo, Hammer, thanks for the raid, man. When do we miss a heart disease? A, a mega... So. You know, if we go back to your shop, I'm sure it will start. It was start I need a long bail. What do, you, what do you want? There was a fellow here who drank a lot, and he went for a swim, and, and there was this invisible thing, this force that was just hitting us, and I kept falling over. And then the fellow just disappeared into thin air. I'm not on drugs, yeah, I swear. Yeah, but Bobby kicked him into thin air. It was fucking insane. I, I, I kicked him so hard he went back to where he came from, but I'm scared because I think I killed him. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Uh, that's that... alright, Bobby. He was a crazy drunk. They'll shoot him up. Black holy one. shit, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> That's... I didn't mean to kill him. No, it's okay, want... Bob. It's okay. I just wanted him to sober. Yeah, I was not expecting him to kick me so hard. He uh, left the universe. I, I never killed no one in my life. No, you didn't kill him. You just uh, can't see him. Where'd he go, man? He's in this thing. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. Who uh, died? I don't know his name. He was drinking a lot of that. And then he was saying things and then, and, and, and then, and then he, he fell into the water, but, 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 but he, he, he couldn't swim. So I, I threw my lasso and got him out. And then he, he, he was unconscious and and I, I, I kicked him to get him up and let him die. <laughs> Yo, Pram, uh, thanks, man. Look, Mr. Harlow? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm really sorry about what you've had to go through tonight. Look, it... it. I'm not crazy, I swear. It's, no, it's I, I, no one thinks you're crazy, all right? No one thinks you're crazy. Yeah, I witnessed it. Where'd he go there? <laughs> Look. Uh, to New York. Yeah. Sometimes shit happens. You know? But I killed him. Oh, you did it, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry, one second. Whose is this uh, Missouri Foxtrotter here? Yours? <laughs> no. That's not ours. Uh. Could you go a real quick second? Yeah. I ever seen yeah. Like, sorry, I, I just gotta have a real quick uh, talk to George here. I just oh, need fuck a me. Yeah. Uh, I was a hostage in a bank robbery the other day. Yeah. Right? And I was carried on that exact horse there. It has the same saddle, it has the same blue eyes. Whose fucking horse is it? That, that's why I was asking. Well, look, I gotta get in and get this report done. Why don't you just stay out here, maybe, maybe discreet, with your camera ready. Oh, wait, here comes someone. You just lying. Uh, it's alive. Fargo moves. Dirk, could you put some clothes on, please? Okay. This is a fellow I was telling you about. Look, he's not alive. dead. He's not dead. Oh, he's just. Oh, my God. God. He's just so naked. <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, we're going to need you to get some clothes on. Oh, fuck. Oh, I thought I killed him. No, nope, just... Now, you know what you can do to make amends for thinking you killed him? Uh, well, you could take well, him down to the clothing store right now, buy him a new fashionable outfit, and everything's good. 
All right, come on, mister. That's get it. In my mouth. Come on, mister. All I'll right. get you some new clothes. Look at that. If Everybody don't, don't working together. Love to see it. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, Todd, you just, you just, you just find somewhere discreet, ready with your camera, okay? Okay, yeah, but that's, the, that's the horse, man. I, I know, but then if you can get solid proof of who the guy is, then we can take it to the next step, okay? Well, well it was a lady that, that was riding the horse that oh, day, but yeah. Oh, yo, hello, lady, you know, right? whatever. Just, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, no, that, like, I recognize it from the saddle and the blue eyes on that horse. All right, look, yeah, just... Yeah, now, yeah, you recognize the horse down. The next step is to get the next bit of evidence. Piece it all together, all right? All right. All right. Good shit, Woodman. I'll see you, I'll see you next time. Prem, I hope you get more sleep tonight, man. Also, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> Wrong account. <laughs> you gotta have, like... Back when I would... Org back when I would run a... An employer's Twitch page. I would have it look I would have it logged in on like my Firefox browser and then I would be logged into mine on my Google Chrome browser. Maybe you need a system like that. I don't know. Whatever works for you. Alright, let's write. We got one more fucking incident report to write. Fuck me, dude. Just wanna go to bed. <laughs> God damn. Um... Um...
Do, 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 do. Hey, sorry, sorry. I, I've got Discord open because I've got to write an incident. I'm writing the incident report on my um, on my second monitor. Sorry, what what did I miss? What did I miss? Um, people ever played poker in cu country? I, they do sometimes. George is here pondering slash calculating how much money he owes Cynthia now. Oh my god, fifteen dollars fifty. He owes me what? Wait, I owe what? What? <laughs> the lighting at this, um, the lighting at night at this desk in Blackwater is really great. It's fantastic. Um, sorry, I'm just, uh, yeah, I've got I've got Discord open on my second monitor over OBS so that I can write this incident report. Um, That guy, where is he? I'm gonna kill him. He's so gone. He's very gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up a tea party with him. And I'm gonna poison his tea. Turn your voice down. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> that walking past talking about poisoning tea in that And report is done. Yeah, actually, now you mention it from the other the other day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I have done my reports to try and get some to try and arrange some meetings between the two sheriffs to try and get some um come up with some solutions for some joint operations because we're dealing with situations where criminals are coming over to one side they live on the other and vice versa and it's there's a back and forth between the areas so we've got to explore options to deal with this together somehow so what's today thursday so there's a very good chance i'll be on again tomorrow night which is friday night um as well as, I'll definitely be on Sunday night. Might be on Saturday night. I don't know. Because I wouldn't mind having just a night off in between Red Dead RP sometime soon. Just to chill out and play some other stuff and whatnot. Um, but at the very least, I'll be on Sunday night. And then maybe Friday and or Saturday night. 
just while the martial law is in effect, just to just to really be making the most of that. Oh! Oof! That's that's gonna need a chiropractor. <laughs>